This is Heroes of Theros, a special one-shot as we do a send-off for Agrios, who died horribly a uh, few sessions back. Today is kind of a, a rough day for me. I had a, a good friend pass on earlier this week, and they, they actually just laid him in the ground a, a little bit ago. So I've talked to the players, and I'd like to dedicate this this session to Donnie Logan, who has appeared as a blacksmith in several of my sessions because in life he was a blacksmith. He was he was a brother to me, a warrior poet, a fellow soldier, and I just wish him well and a good journey. The best to his family. With that where we left off last time with Agrios. He was sitting on the raft belonging to Athrios, along with several others, for a journey to the underworld. Agrios, you are on a raft that is about 10 feet wide, 20 feet long. There are no seats on this raft. You just take a space along the side. Athreo stands at the tiller. His staff is leaning against his side. And his focus appears to be on this coin that he was handed by Vara. But it's not that there's no attention to the riders on the boat, because the skulls that adorn his staff are staring at you through their hollow orbs keeping an eye on everything that occurs on the boat as the heads move back and forth to watch everything that happens. At the front end of the raft are two humanoid bodies, faceless, bound in chains as they sit silently. To their right, closer to the middle of the raft, is a large canvas bag. A golden mask is peeking from the end, uh, almost like it, it may have slipped out. And the pack is large and uh, rather lumpy, but insinuating that maybe there's more of these masks of the returned that rest inside. To the left of the raft are the two lovers from the temple. They sit side by side, holding each other's head in their laps, their eyes faces to each other so that their eyes can meet as they stare longingly at each other for the journey. Towards the front of the boat is a stack of jars. Inside these jars are the spirits. Lanathos. Matira. And the Minotaur. From the Temple of the Dead Lovers. As Athreos gathered their essence, he placed them into the jars and sealed them there for their journey. To your left sits a centaur. And I will ask that centaur, please, to uh, describe themselves. <laughs> I am the said centaur. I'm a white, creamy palomino for my back half. A uh, golden, golden, sort of a golden, golden mane and tail, tail with a, bl a long black stripe in the tail and, and in my hair. hair. I've got, got a, a light, light blue flowy top, top on that on sort of hangs loose around my little horsey body. body. And I've got a bow and arrow with me. Right. Agrius, the boat is floating along on these light blue waters that appear to have figures floating by slowly in the water, floating around, upstream, downstream, and just circling the boat at various times. Mm. I can't lie. I thought I'd take more people with me. Hey, you. How do you get here? I died. Same as you. You were also smashed by a minotaur. 
hardly mm-hmm. it'd be mm-hmm. more interesting mm-hmm. than what really mm-hmm. happened i was mm-hmm. on my protoporos and mm-hmm. learning more learning about more the vegetation and the lands around me mm-hmm. and i decided to try some mushrooms mm-hmm. and i poisoned mm-hmm. myself And here we are. I'd be lying if I said I'd never tried anything poisonous. I just survived. Well, uh, something caught up with you. Yeah, it was the Minotaur, I said. Well, I suppose that's about all I could expect from the the Ghana. Excuse me. Oh, I did. I didn't mean anything. I didn't mean any offense by it. Of course you did. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said it. That's true. Ass. Uh, he's going to look around the rest of the boat. Is there anyone else there? <laughs> he's about to get pushed off. <laughs> As mentioned, you have the couple sitting across from you, but they seem to be very uh, absorbed with each other. Well, at least their gazes are. Uh, and then you have the two returned sitting at the front. The jars, um, you can just see the tops of them sticking out of this crate that they're in. One of the jars is swirling back and forth, and if you turn and focus on it for a moment, you see the face of Lanos staring out the side of it. Glaring at you angrily. I'm glaring. Oh, no, you know what? I'm gonna grin at him. <laughs> oh, this this makes it swirl faster, <laughs> and you can you can see as he he like punches up against the the stopper that's that's holding it closed, but it does not move. As the raft carries on a bit. You begin to hear noises. You hear first the cries of pain, of suffering, wails of anguish. Every once in a while, you'll pick up this the sounds of victory, someone yelling out in, in joy as they've triumphed over something. You hear weapons clash. And as you flow by, you see on a cliff off in the distance, Several people, warriors, some standing with their weapons raised, looking for someone to fight, calling out for battle, for someone to fight them. But no one pays attention. And then you see the other warriors on the ground, those who look despondent. They're crying. They're, they're sad, renting their clothing, armor that is in tatters. And it is this moment you recognize Agonis, the home of warriors and soldiers who battle without honor in the souls of cowards, those who lived by the sword but had no virtue. The creatures around in the water that swim past the raft begin to swim a little bit closer, and you begin to hear little words. They don't make a lot of sense to you at the time, but you can tell they're speaking to you and calling out. When they get too close to the boat, Athrios's attention is drawn for a moment. He takes his staff and he hits the water and they scatter away a bit. But then he goes back to staring at his coin, which seems to be the center of his attention. Hmm. You said there was sound coming from the water. Yes. I'm going to peer down into the water if I can, see what's going on. As you stare into the water, the faces of these things, first you see these creatures, large teeth, hideous mouths, no eyes, and they long claws as they reach towards you. But then they soften a bit. You begin to see faces that you remember. That one. 
That looks so much like Ariana, but it, it couldn't be. Why would she be in the river here? And then, for just a moment, you see a face, a female, very familiar to you, some, a face from long ago. Agrios, what did your mother look like? <clears throat> um, uh, she was, she had long, curly black hair, um, skin a bit fairer than Agrios's, um, probably green eyes. Beautiful, but uh, hardened from going on raids and probably wore uh, war paint the last time he saw her. Okay. Just a striped going down one side in blue. Similar to his own red marking. All right. path moves a bit more. The boat slowly turns to make its way into shore. As you see this beautiful structure, alabaster, gates, pearls, the size you've, you, you just can't imagine, gold lacing among things. The sound of music reaches your ear. And you just get this general scent of happiness. The air has that vanilla and honey scent to it that just permeates from it. And the raft pulls up in front of the dock to Alicia. That can't be right. I was so certain I was going to Agonis. The two lovers stand up. They turn and look to Agrios. Thank you. For what? Freeing us. I don't remember doing that. Well, you and your friends. Um, uh, he, he moves to try and approach Athreos at the head of the boat. Um, Lord, uh, Athreos, sir, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. The cowled head moves towards you, and while you don't see a face, you get this impression of this look of almost annoyance takes the coin and takes it from his right hand and places it in his left leans his staff forward and the skull at the top leans over and you don't belong sit did you just say i don't belong sit the other Two skulls turn towards you, and all three of them sit down. Rather hard, considering. Mm, I'll gesture to my body. She has a point. But all right, I I'll I'll sit. This isn't where I get off, is it? No, no, no. Okay. Right. And not back there. As the feet of the lovers step onto the ground, their heads, they lift up, place onto the appropriate body, and they appear whole again. Any blood that had covered them is gone. They appear almost better than a person would appear in, in life in front of you. There's something magical and ethereal about them. 
as they move into the gates, never looking back. Well, good for them. What about you, Lagana? Where did you think you'd go? Honestly, I didn't think that I would be here. It was much of a shock. I'm not certain. Where do you think you'll wind up? I, I thought I'd go back there where everyone was trying to kill each other. Suits you, but apparently not where right. you're going. He sits down looking troubled. This is wrong. Maybe there's another Agrios. Well, my name's not even Agrios. Perhaps. Perhaps you're not as much of a warrior as you thought you were. You take that back right now, or I will kill you a second time. I'm already dead. Exactly. I don't see you being able to do it again. Don't test me. There's not really... All right, I'm testing you. Test. <laughs> He's going to try and push her off the side of the boat. No, <laughs> <As> you. <laughs> I'm going to grab his arm like, no. Give me a dexterity check. Who? Me? Uh, moi ha ha ha. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, yeah, he's not asked what my name is yet. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. It's an 8. 28? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a what? <laughs> 28. Uh, no, what is it really, Chill? An eight. An eight. An eight. Well, uh, Chill was, thank you for joining us in the one shot. <laughs> She's going to say 28 at level five? Good lord. I'm amazing. No, I'm not. No, I'm, she, I'm not. <laughs> she begins to slip as her back feet slide off the edge of the raft. And she starts to fall towards the water. The creatures in the water immediately charge forward and you see as these claws begin to reach out and grab the back of her leg and you feel as this claw digs in. Yes, Jimmy. Apparently there's an echo in our audio. It's happening to everyone. You know, we had this problem previously. Uh, it's happening to everyone, though? Well, let me see if I can figure out what it is. Sorry for the uh, momentary disruption, folks. Um, Apparently it doesn't include you. It's just everyone else. <laughs> I have a feeling I have a feeling it might be related to the fact that I was using different audio to listen than usual. Let's see if that fixes it. Perhaps. Oh, do I see a wild Peter? I do. <laughs> a wild Peter? Damn. Ooh. <laughs> In the afterlife, anything is possible. <laughs> I broke down. Yes. We're only what? Like, we're, we're what, five minutes in? Yes. Yeah, we'll start the tally. Awesome. Oh, Lord. Um, Seems like okay. the echo's gone. Okay, good. Yeah, I know what it was. It's because it was my microphone wasn't filtering out like it's supposed to. I apologize. I humble okay. myself before before you. Anyway, I mean, it was good because you know we're in the halls of the underworld here. Yeah, it was thematic. It's, just it's just a only. deathly echo, and it, but it's just too annoying. So <laughs> anyway, uh, these claws reach up and grab the back, and you feel as this claw digs in, and you are beginning to be pulled back into the water. Oh, shit. Really? Oh. All right, you ass, pull me up. He's going to grab her and start pulling her up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, I so couldn't have been the other half in the water. Give me a strength <laughs> check, please. Are you trying to say she's got a... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying Man, to say? You didn't even need to finish saying it. Uh, strength, <laughs> let's see. Can it be an athletics check? Can Absolutely. I give him advantage? Absolutely. All right. 
it's an athletics check that no is... you can't give him advantage you're the problem 19. <laughs> let me put my I glasses tried. on so i don't have to pick it up you're you're oh, able to me. you are able to uh pull her back onto the boat and the skulls look at you and glare at you and just there's an obvious anger with the fact that you're disrupting the flow of the boat. <laughs> Athreus, however, is still enamored looking at this single coin. As the raft flows onward, you begin to see wrecks of ships, some small, some very large. Some look as though they've been here for hundreds, hundreds of years. Some relatively new. You see the crew on some ships, and on one is a looks familiar to you, looks a bit reminds you of Vara, that same flowing kind of hair. As he stands at the stern of his ship looking outward, and as you flow by, he does a salute. I'll salute him back. And he immediately turns. And you can see a large arrow protruding from his back. He kind of limps his way down a bit. Picks up a whip. And resumes lashing the person tied to the mast. And you hear it anguish cries and then you hear the voices again coming from the water you hear one call out coal oh he turns it's been so long since he heard the name that he's wondering uh He's, it, it took him a moment to respond, and he's trying desperately to place the voice. You listen for a moment, and it's a younger voice. You, you remember, you know, your voice being that younger tent. Still that, there's that bit of anger and warrior in it. But it's, the sound is, is twisted by... The sound of someone who who's trying to call out your name, but their throat's been cut. And the voice changes to have a gurgle as it says, call, call. Can I find the source of this voice? Give me a perception check. All right. That is a dirty 20. All right. You look back into the water and you see the face of your father sliced across with a weapon that you recognize the edge of this. You recognize that type of cut. That's your blade that did this. And he is reaching up to you. Son! His hand reaches up and just breaks the surface of the water. No! Don't touch me! Oh, do I see this happening? Oh, absolutely. What you see, however, is Agrios turns, leans over the edge, and is looking into the water as this scaly hand with claws begins to reach up towards his face. I'm going to lunge forward and grab the back of his armor and his hair and just yank back from the edge. All right. You pull him back and the clawed hand hits the edge of the raft and immediately, just so fast you could barely see the movement, Athreos' staff hits it, snaps one of the fingers loose, and the hand just withers off the side of the raft. Going for a swim. No. Mm. 
What did that look like to you? It, it, no one in particular, just gross, scaly, withered. Probably shouldn't look into the water. Someone you know? No. <clears throat> Is he lying? <laughs> Well, you would you would wonder that, but before you have a chance to speak with him, you you see a face. You hadn't seen it in a couple of years. But Anosha, this is the face of of your one true love. Who's who is staring up at you from the waters? Um <laughs> I didn't give her a uh, I didn't give her a love interest. Uh I'm going to say it's some form of Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Fair choice. Excellent. Excellent. I think, if, I think if Panda was here she would have gone with Jason Momoa. Ugh. Yeah, I could see that yeah. too. So, yeah. Okay. But you know Dwayne Johnson is... since I was like knee high oh, to a fair. grasshopper man fair enough fair enough yeah he, he raises one eyebrow and <sighs> puts out his hand to you and beckons you to come towards him well i'm going for a swim i will start to nope i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna try and stop her okay uh let's see <laughs> i i believe this would have to be a grapple attempt here so i am going to need a not bad at those Strength from Agrios and a strength from Hanoshi. I believe I can use athletics. For, yes, you can. Uh, yes, you may. All right. Absolutely. Okay, that's that, a 16. That's not the time. This is not the time I want good rolls. That's uh, uh, that's an 11. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> she breaks loose from your arms, Agrios. Probably the fact that you're missing a couple of fingers doesn't help as you try to grasp. Oh, yeah, that's right. And she oh. dives off the edge. Of the boat and into the water and immediately or two things happen anosha that isn't dwayne johnson <laughs> pull me back up the creature changes you see large fangs and its claws reach out and it leaps towards you and then you find yourself surrounded by these creatures uh. as they begin to gnaw and grasp and claw for your body Not 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 cool um can i can i can i wild shape sure can i wild shape into my uh secret form that we were talking about earlier you can wild shape into whatever yes i'm gonna wild shape into my abyssal chicken form <laughs> all right <laughs> and i'm gonna split my little back flaps and try to fly out of the water all right you can attempt to fly out, but they're going to attempt to grasp you because that's what they do. They grab. So I am going to need you to do oh another God, strength that's a check. Bug on my mic. Ugh. We have <laughs> we have we have a friend. Is it a we friend a indeed? Yeah, that's a beetle friend. Looks like uh, one of those wonderful Japanese beetles that bite you and then you die. <laughs> What? I, I, that would only wow. work with me saying that against Chael. Anybody else who would have been like, ah, you're kidding. I just had that few seconds in there. It's great. <laughs> yeah, there, there was a half second where I think Chael was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... <laughs> yes, how was your role? I was distracted because I was attacked by a Japanese beetle. What was I rolling oh, okay. again? Uh, it is a strength check as you are being grappled by the creatures from the water. Can I use my previous 16? Please? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, what was that? It's a two. It's a two. You attempt to fly up, but these hands grab you and begin to pull, and you find yourself being drawn into the water. Initiative on this is going to be very simple. There's only three parties involved. Well, two at the moment, but the third could be Agrios. So. You attempt to do something, they've grabbed you. Agrios, is there anything you would like to do? Wave yeah. by, maybe? Yeah. I'm looking through my I'm looking through my spells. I don't even know yet if they will work down here, if Mogus can actually help me in Athreos' realm. But uh 
Uh, oh, snap. I don't know anything that could work against a whole swarm of these things. Um, I mean, the most I can do is enhance ability on, on her. Uh, I'm going to just reach out again and try and pull her back in. All right. So she is now in a different shape. So become. attempting to grasp anything on her uh, is going to be, I guess, a wing or what <laughs> appears to be some kind of a wing would be the closest thing to you. It is what going to be. What the fuck are you supposed to be? It's a, it's a very tenuous thing for you to try and do this. She's far enough from the, the raft to make this difficult. And the raft is continuing to move on. As no Athreos boy. is, you know, stirring at his coin. So this is going to be a uh, dexterity check. And if you fail it, uh, you're going to be in the water. If you are able to succeed in it, you will be able to grab hold of her. Uh, and it's just straight up dexterity, huh? Straight up dexterity. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm not good at that. I don't know if you know that, Tam. <laughs> Come on, Grab. die. Don't fail me now. Grab Come a on, back Chris. flap and pull. Come on, Christmas die. 15. Thank you, Christmas die. <laughs> All right. You are able to grasp hold of this wingy thing. It doesn't feel like feathers. It feels like it's not. some kind of it's amorphous skin. flesh. <laughs> kind of kind of like if you were to get a chicken, uh, a whole chicken, and you were grabbing that very end tip part of the wing. You know how it's kind it's of a sphinx flabby cat. and yeah, there you go. <laughs> that, yeah, that that there you feeling. Go. You said it's like grabbing a sphincter. Oh. Is that what you said? Anyway, sorry. You feel disgusting. <laughs> you just I'm I'm just flopping about in the water. <laughs> so at this point, uh, you are grappled by these things, and since you have Agrios uh, pulling on you as well, I will give you advantage on your attempt to break the grapple. Can I use dexterity? Nope. Yeah. Alright, strength. Mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, I guess yeah. a normal grapple, I think you can escape with acrobatics. You said with advantage, right? Yes. That is a nat 20. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> well, I rolled a dirty 20. Mine's natural, so go... it's better. <laughs> I agree, natural's better. <laughs> anyway, so you are going to uh, be able to break <laughs> loose from this and make your way back to the raft. And as you attempt to get back on, the raft is going to, to lean a bit. And that gets Athreos's attention. And he immediately walks over towards the area where you're at, takes his staff and strikes the water. And it's it's like an explosion in the water. Uh, if you've seen Thunder Wave, it's, it's like that, but under the water. It doesn't affect you, but everything that's under the water is just blown backwards. While the water itself remains perfectly calm. He reaches down, grabs you by the throat with one hand. I don't have a throat. Grabs it's you by the uh, the waddle. With there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little, that's closer. Picks you up. And you lose your wild shape. <coughs> and for a moment, you're staring straight into the non-face of Athreos. You can see up under the cowl, and there is nothing there. It is just void and emptiness staring back at you. And you are pulled over, placed onto the raft. Three skulls on the end of his staff turn to face you. Be still, or you will be placed in chains, chains, chains. <coughs> Just sort of brush my hair back and just nod. I don't look at him again. As the raft continues downstream, you leave the area of the ships. You swore at one point 
you saw something move under the water, enormous and multi-tentacled. The closest thing you could think of is the legends you've heard of a kraken, but this one seemed broken, almost as almost as though a skeleton of that creature dwells under the water here. And as you exit the last area of this and turn a bend, you could have sworn there was a boat over there. But all you see is a splash in the water as it has been dragged down underneath the waves. It starts to get very dim. What light there was emanating from the river Tartix below begins to dim. The creatures that were swarming the ship, they're not here. You just have a black, murky water. As you drift into Tisarus, the domain of murderers, and those who committed unforgivable offenses against the gods. The domain of Erebos himself. The wrath drifts. You begin to smell the brimstone of this place. Sulfur fills the air. There is no joy here. Any, any sense of happiness flows to nowhere. The raft pulls up and comes to a stop. Two figures emerge. You're not sure where from. They appear to have just stepped out of the stone itself. They walk over to the raft. Stop and kneel at the side. Athreos, wakening from looking at his coin, sticks out a hand and points across the raft. The two enter the boat. The figures at the end, the returned, that have been sitting quietly this entire time, begin to stir. For the first time, they appear to be paying attention to what's going on around them. As these figures grab them by the chains and begin to drag them off of the ship. As they go by, one of them kicks the bag that is laying on the boat to your right, Agrios. And when it does, you hear a noise from it, almost like... <clears throat> these creatures... Their mouths open, they begin to wail in agony and fear as they scream as they are dragged off into the distance. And you begin to see as little things reach out and grab and begin to tear pieces off of the returned. As they are slowly taken back and formed into the land of Erebos itself. The bag beside you begins to move. It's almost like there's something struggling to get out. Should we help whatever it is? I mean, do you think we're supposed to? Probably not, but considering we haven't been following the rules since we got here, I don't see what harm it could do. I don't remember any rules being told to me. Though, uh, Clearly, we're not supposed to try and escape, he says, looking over at the returned. <sighs> well, that is quite annoying. <laughs> he, oh, he lifts a leg and considers kicking the bag, but then decides to instead put it down and go over and try to open it. You're the you're the strong warrior. I'll uh, just wait over here while you do that. Why did I? Why do I feel like I detected sarcasm? I have no idea what you mean, sir. 
Mm. He's just going to go open the bag. If he can. The bag is loosely tied at the end. So you are able to easily uh, remove the binding. The mask that was sitting in the end falls out. And uh, a small head emerges from the end of the bag. <gasps> oh, 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 God, where has he sent me this time? I'm sorry. Uh, so you see... Um, a very small, very young satyr girl um, with short cropped brown hair covering one of her eyes, two horns upturned. Um, she's not carrying any weapons or armor or possessions that you can see, with the exception of a water skin at her side. And she is in the robes of a priest. And she tumbles out of the bag. Um, uh, where are we? The underworld, apparently. <laughs> no. No, we're not. not. No. 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 We are dead. Definitely the underworld. No. You're dead. I'm not. No, you didn't kill me. And she just looks at the ceiling. Did you kill me? Should should we throw her off? Is this going to be the whole ride? I'm thinking about it. No, no, I, 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 can, I can be quiet. I can, I can be good. I can behave. Um, uh, I'll get the arms if you get the legs. That's fine. Fair enough. I'll take no, a few I, steps I, forward. I really, I really don't want to fight. Look, just, just I'll, I'll sit here. I'll be quiet. It's fine. I would prefer to solve any of our problems without violence if we can. Um. Well, this is the underworld, and if you're not dead, then how did you get here? Why were you in that bag? I would love to know the answer to that. Um, I sleepwalk, so somehow I ended up in a bag on Athreos's boat, or I died in my sleep, but that seems unlikely. Um, and she starts, like, checking herself for wounds. You said someone sent you somewhere. I don't know why he would have sent me here, Ooh. though. Oh, um, she kind of brushes herself off and stands to her full height, which still barely comes up to Agrios's midsection if he was standing up straight. She is uh -huh. not tall. And she says, um, I am a proud priestess of Xenagos. And he likes to. Well, he likes to send me places that I don't necessarily want to go. He thinks it's good for my character. Is it good for your character? Well, um, I wouldn't know because, like I said, I sleepwalk and I'm narcoleptic, so occasionally I just pass out if I get too nervous. <laughs> hmm, funny. She must not be nervous at all because she's still standing. Imagine being in the underworld and not notice, not being nervous. Oh, well, you know, I think it might have just gone all the way back around. I'm so nervous that it's just made it impossible for me to sleep. I'm, I'm in the underworld. There's a god right behind me and two very angry centaurs that are threatening to throw me into this very dark river. I'm not that angry. You haven't seen me angry. Fair point. Two very kind and polite centaurs who are threatening to throw me into this dark river. So I'm just going to sit here and mm -hmm. I'm going to think. And she sits down and she just starts like chewing on her thumb. Just <laughs> very jittery, isn't she? A bit. What? Let's uh, let's make this a little easier. Maybe we can. Maybe we can be friends, and then that'll make this less lonely. Hi! And she sticks up one of her hands. Demi of Citessa. Okay. Hi. She puts her hand down on her lap. 
I spent most of my life being called Agrios. Okay. Although, I suppose I'm dead now, so it doesn't really matter. Well, sure it matters. Which one do you like better? What they called you or who you are? Uh, I'm not sure who I am. Well, you introduced yourself as Agrios first, so I'll call you that until you tell me to change it. Sounds good. And this is, um, he gestures at, uh, at <laughs> Monosha <laughs> and says, Lagana. That is not my name. That is, your clan was never known for being intelligent. I am Honosha. That's true. Nice to meet you, Hanosha. Uh, Are we supposed to, this is a share circle or something? No, I just wanted to introduce myself and give you my name, so at least we can call each other something other than, you know, annoying satyr or angry centaurs. We're dead. Does it matter? Uh, you're dead. I... Pretty sure I'm not. And then she looks at Athros. Am I dead? Did and at I this die? point, when you look over that direction, this is when you realize Athreus is no longer standing at the tiller. Athreus is standing above you, just looking down at all three of you, staff in hand, and all three of the skeletons are looking down as well. And he's actually tapping his foot impatiently on the raft. Hello. Are we going to get back on the water in a minute? And the skeletons look and la begin to laugh. <laughs> well, I'm not getting off here. This is off, 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 I, off. I'm just when I thought you this place could be any more now. unsettling. I'm no, 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 no. Agrios, we're not getting off here. We're not returned. I've never done anything to the gods. I served the gods faithfully. As Same. did I. I definitely served the gods faithfully. I gave them a... I served them faithfully. We're not associated with the satyr, if that is the issue. We can certainly let her off here and continue on our way. Athreos points his hand towards the shore and gestures. And those rock figures come alive again. And the skeletons look down. You leave on your own. You leave on your own. Or they will take you, take you, drag you away. Well, I... What? And she picks up her water skin and puts it to her ear. <sighs> Fine. And then she gets off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I just glance at Agrios. What are you looking at me for? You're the brave warrior. Get off. Yes, I am. I'm not going to surrender. If they want to drag me, they'll have to fight me for it. I want to watch this. And I will. Trot off the boat. Rapt. All right. Bang. <laughs> all three of the skulls. Job, boys. All three of the skulls look at Agrios. The figures come out of the stone, begin moving closer, and they are almost to the edge of the boat. And the skulls look down. Last, last, last warning. Tell me what I've done. Why am I here? You have died. You died. You died. No, I should be in Agonis. That's where I belong. No, no, no. The decision is not yours. Athreos takes them only to where they belong. Only where they go. Only where they should be. This is wrong. This is wrong. I served the gods faithfully my entire life. Off. Off. Or be dragged away. I Agrius. vote drag him. Athreo stands Agrius there with his hand up, off. holding them off for a moment. Uh, so what was that, Agrios? Agrios is not going to get off the boat willingly. All right. 
<laughs> these three creatures enter onto the boat. They are spiritual in form. They are, they are not a totally a physical type of creature, but they have multiple arms each. They have claws. They have no face. But they make these noises that kind of a, a growling, howling, kind of a <laughs> noise as they come forwards towards you. And uh, roll initiative. All right. <laughs> oh, no. I certainly will. Sorry for everybody else. You're going to have to wait a minute. Agrios wants to die again. <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, that's a 10 on initiative. All right. Well, I got a 12. Dimmy is going to oh, lean over no. to Anosha. Is he always like this? <laughs> I've only known him for about 20 minutes, but apparently so. Oh. Do you want to take bets on who's going to win? So that first one <laughs> is a 10. I assume that misses. It does. All right. Do I still have any armor? Uh, you have everything you died with. Okay. Yep. It comes with you. So. Uh, uh -huh. That... I'm sorry. S suck it. I can't take it with me. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that next one is a 16. Nope. And the next one is a 17. Nope. All right. They gnash and claw at you, but are unable to get purchase against you. What would you like to do? I am going to attempt to cast Word of Radiance. Okay. Uh, does it succeed? Like, am I able to cast it? Uh, so you you cast this. He you raises begin... his shield into the air mm -hmm. and speaks this word in in celestial. I'll say. Okay. And as you are saying that last part of it, you are hit with a new form of dispel magic you've never had before it comes in the form of athrios's staff against the back of your skull Ooh. you know he was doing honor to the fairy's name until that happened give me a constitution saving throw please i will as you I have shall. pissed off athrios <laughs> what by trying to invoke another god's power in his, his realm surely that, that might have done fine. it Surely that would be Probably. fine. That's actually a 19. All right. Excellent. You feel this crack the back of your head. Your spell, you feel that energy begin to flow, and then it just disappears. <clears throat> Athreos leans over and gets right down in your face. And while he is the faceless one, you can feel the intent of his peering in at you, his anger and disgust. The skulls lean and tilt. Why do you fight? Why are you arguing? Why do you not go where you're supposed to be? Because I did that my entire life, and it ended me up here. I wasn't supposed to. Athreos stands up, strokes a non-existent beard on his non-existent face. And then beckons the creatures forward again. Miss. Absolute miss. <laughs> uh, does a 24 hit? That will hit. All right. 24 finally does some good on it. You feel as these claws take purchase on you. And you are going to take seven slashing damage as they cut across you. And it finds purchase in the, the, the meat of the front of your leg. Mm. And it just, it's, you're now grappled as it's got a grip on you. Oh, I see. And it begins to drag you. Uh, ever defiant act. Oh, okay, sorry. go ahead. Sorry. 
I was going to say Ever Defiant, Agrios is going to try to break the grapple. Please okay. continue with what the skulls do. The skulls say, if you will not go where you belong, then you will be dragged to where you don't wish to be. This is your choice. You did this to yourself. Mr. Agrios, don't make it worse. Make it worse, please. Go ahead and let's Quiet have you. This. And she just kind of like gently slaps your heart. Just stop it. <laughs> let's have this just... strength check as you try to break free of the grasp of this creature. Uh, that is a grand total of... That's actually not that bad. 12? That's a 17. As okay. it continues to pull and drag you and you're... Your hooves skittering across the, the wood of the raft tick, 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 as you are dragged away from it. Your feet hit the paved stone of the dock as you are dragged a bit forward. Yes, Demi. Um, can I attempt to... Because I just met these people and I need to take care of them. Um, can I attempt to convince Athreos to just let him to just let him go. It's like, okay, you've made your point. I'd like to roll a persuasion check against Athreos. You're welcome to do that. Okay. But I feel it's only fair, however, I use the bigger die. No, that is fair. <laughs> uh, so, 21. <clears throat> 27. Oh, bless. <laughs> I kid so you I'm not. just ineffectually just like tugging on his <laughs> coat. Mr. Athreos, please, come on. He, and he's I'm just learned being, his lesson. And I'm just being dragged away. You're just My being God, dragged away. So cool. One, <laughs> Agrios, Agrios. I love this This man. is going to be a short one shot, by the way. This is not what I intended, but here we go. <laughs> Agrios is frothing at the mouth at this point. His hair is everywhere. Just... Um, you can't do this to me! I don't deserve this! Evidently we do. Just come on. I am losing interest. And I'm, I'm happy to say that he is successfully dragged away. Uh, <laughs> am I? I don't know. I don't, I don't intend to, or, or he just... Should I surrender? Is that what we're doing? Like, I, I'm... It's it's up to you what you want to do. I am I I have a scenario laid out, but I want your character to uh, have its last moments the way you want it to have its last moments. <laughs> if it's dragged to After... hell, it's dragged to hell. Var is like twitching in her sleep. Like I'm. Var is <laughs> like oh, something's so right. <laughs> hey hey, you know, Athreos is fine to have you sent to the train station. Um. I, I, I guess after barking all this out, he would just sort of resign himself. Do me a favor. Let's make this. Let's make this entertaining. Roll me a perception check. Sure. Uh, that is a natural twenty for a twenty-three. Finally, nice. a good roll. As you're being dragged, your your hooves scrape across this this dirt that is caked up on top of these stones and you find that actually underneath all this this detritus this is built up over who knows how long blood bones ash there are marble tablets basically stones laid out beautifully paved and there are markings on each one Engraved sayings. The first one that you, you can make out says, Being faithful to your friends. What? He, he gradually calms down, confused at what he's seeing. The next one you uncover says, Having victory. And letting them, but letting another win. What am I looking at? And the creature that's dragging you stops, 
looks at you, looks back to Athreos. And Athreos does something he rarely does. He takes a step off the edge of his raft. And looking at the coin in his hand, he grips it and walks over, takes his staff, and breaks the grip of this creature on you. And the skulls look down. Your friend has paid a debt. Athreos takes pity on you. You do not belong in the realm of Erebos. You're being sent to your god. And Athreos takes and places his hand across your face, kind of turning your head as he points down the path of these paved stones. I see. Then... Very well. He's, he's, he's trying to compose himself again after having gone half mad for a moment there. Um, and it turns to follow the path. Matthew stands there for a moment looking at his coin, then turns and steps back to the raft. The skulls look back at Demi and Hanosha. Good luck. <laughs> Amazing. And they continue to laugh Thanks. as the raft pushes away. They were being sarcastic. I know, but I do want to try and at least be as optimistic as I can in the realm of the dead. What's the point? How fast can you walk? We'll catch up with Agrios. As you continue uh, I'm, down... I'm pretty quick. <laughs> blink, 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 blink. As you continue <laughs> she, moved, down she has a this... move of speed of 35, so she's fast. <laughs> As you continue moving down this paved path towards your destination, you continue to see these things engraved in the stone, helping the fallen. Paying too much for an item. Protecting the weak. Oh, I hope I didn't do these things. Otherwise, Mogus isn't going to be very happy when he sees me. What do you think these things are? I don't know. But none of them good for a cleric of Mogus. Writing a wrong. That one's just subjective. <laughs> slaying must have been the, quite the warrior. As you get closer, slaying the innocent. Oh, that sounds more like me. Providing a good home. Loving your mother. Killing your mother. I raise an eyebrow as we pass this one. These are starting to sound more and more like all things I've done, and I'm hoping... <clears throat> Eventually the path leads into a building. The Engraved stones continue on. And Why I... are you coming with me, by the way? Kenosha, was it? It is. It's not like I really have anything else to do. Athreos didn't give you somewhere else to go. He did not. Maybe, um, maybe we're all going to meet our gods. Maybe. I don't know if Senegas is down here, but knowing that you're a cleric of Mogus actually does make sense why I'm here. 
Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, Xenagos loves messing with the other gods, and his favorite thing is to do anything he can to put a bug up Mogus's ass. So I guess that's why we're here. I suppose oh. I'm just a spectator. No, I doubt that. Everyone has a purpose. True. I'm not sure what uh, Nylea's interest in all of this would be, but if she's here, I suppose we'll find out. Well, I don't know if it'll work, but she uh, takes the wineskin off of her side. Anybody want to drink? We're dead. Sure. She offers the wineskin to Egrios. He picks it up and almost drinks from it, then thinks again. Wait a minute. You just said you're here to sabotage uh, anyone related to Mogus, right? Uh, no, not sabotage. Not Probably not even <clears throat> mess with. Just observe. You drink first. <laughs> you, you don't want me to do that. But I will if there's a problem. If I didn't want you to do that, then I wouldn't have as asked you to. Well, if you're not going to drink, then I'm not either. Let's keep going. That's fair. She puts it back on her side. He turns as and continues you, walking. As you continue making your way in, the pavement, the paved stones, continue right up to a staircase. The last one is engraved before the stairs start on their path upward. The last one stating, Killing Serenity. Do I know who Serenity is, Tam? Uh, I would say you've heard the word. You've heard the name, but not necessarily. Mm. I mean, if you if you want to if you want to see how much Agarus would know of it, it has been mentioned in your presence. So uh, it has. feel free to um, uh, roll for it. You I'll do, see I... if he knows whether he's done that. Give me an intelligence check. Let's see. Oh, an intelligence check. Uh, that's a so the <laughs> an intelligence. That's a seven. <laughs> You know, you know, you've heard it before, but it does not particularly ring true to you. Mm. It was it was with the the party when you were alive some time back. Well, I've killed a lot of people. Who knows who that is? He starts making his way up the stairs. Mm -hmm. As you begin to make your way up, you hear the sounds of battle in the distance, echoing through the halls. Hearing the sounds of battle, he starts quickening his pace. Okay. You make your way through winding paths. There are various others, but not many, that are occupying the rooms as you make your way through this maze following the sounds. They pay barely any attention to you at all. There are a few minotaurs, humans, all, all bearing the mark of Mogus, all warriors, all of them looking quite wounded. Although they don't appear to bleed, but they definitely have large wounds. You follow the sounds until you make your way through a gated area into an opening where you are greeted by a minotaur wielding a very large axe. You recognize him. He sticks in your mind because you met him in Akros. He was the minotaur who fought for the gods, the Minotaur who Mogus took over. Right. Hey, you're the champion. I saw you at the games. You were incredible. 
the room is filled. I'm not putting tokens everywhere, but the room is filled <laughs> with various warriors. Some lying on the ground. There are those decapitated, missing limbs. But the fighting has ceased as soon as you walked in. Even the decapitated, though, they are still alive. Several of them pick up their heads, put them back on, and begin to shove bone and other materials through to hold it in place. Welcome to the arena of Mogus! And he points up to a stand at the end where sits an enormous minotaur. Immistakable. You are in the presence of the god. Mogus is seated <sighs> at the top of this platform. At last. He doesn't seem to be super interested in what's going on, though. He's speaking to a centaur. She has a blue streak running through her hair. Who am I to face? The glory of our Lord Mo Mogus. You've just entered here and you think you already deserve to face a champion. And he steps over to you and just kind of bustles up to you. Who do you think you are? I am called Agrios. But I have served <sighs> Mogus ever since I was even Cole of the Fairies. And you say this loudly, I presume, because I've never heard Agrius whisper, but I'm just making sure. Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, Alia, you hear this statement, and it switches your attention, because you've heard a name you haven't heard in many years. Oh, um, Cole, is it? It was once. The, the name your mother gave you, I presume. Yes. Hmm. And who Why, are you? Well, we can get to that. I'd like to hear about you and what you've been up to. Why abandon the name Cole? I, I killed the woman who gave it to me. I left the tribe. As you say this, Mogus Ships leans forward and places his head on his hand, listening intently to this conversation as he looks back and forth between the two of you, a smile creeping across his face. And so you felt it fitting to choose the name of Agrios. As I wandered, I looked more wild, feral. It seemed only natural to eventually just adopt a name that described me. Hmm. I don't remember what happened first. Me calling myself that, or others calling me that. I suppose Mogus. it is a fitting name. Though I Mogus. much prefer Cole. Mogus leans over to you, Thalia. Let him fight. Let him prove his worthy to be here. Who do you bring with you, Cole? This is Honosha of the Lagona tribe. And Demi, was it? Mm -hmm. Or Sintessa. Ah, I see. The Minotaur in front of you. Excellent sacrifices. Who dies first? Agrios, uh, which shall you kill? Uh, the satyr, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good choice. 
So Demi is going to reach down and she's going to pull out the wine skin. Are we ready to start? I hope you've got some sort of trick up your sleeve. I do so hate violence. But he doesn't. And she takes a drink. And as she does, a pair of red astral horns curl down from her face. And a giant axe appears in both of her hands. And she says, let's go, son of Mogus. Do your best. As she summons her packed weapon. That's more like it. <laughs> the Violent Minotaur will idiots. step back and gesture to the center of the ring. Uh, I cannot move that. Token. I also cannot move me. I will move your tokens. I don't think they're attaching properly, and I'm not going to take the time to do it mid game. <laughs> okay. That's fair. So, Hanosha, what are you going to do during this as the Minotaur steps back out of the way? Uh, I am not currently taking place in the unnecessary violence, but just in case, I'm going to summon my wildfire spirits in case anybody comes after me. All right. You see Mogus as he sits back, places his hands, and just kind of relaxes. Thalia, what are you doing at this point? Uh, she's just grinning. Uh, <laughs> just a full smile ear to ear. And um, I assume that her and Mogus have some kind of wine or drinks or or do oh, absolutely. Kind of. absolutely. So so she'll she'll take a sip of her wine and and um she's just wrapped. She's absolutely excited to see what happens. Uh, are we rolling initiative? Absolutely. All right. I got a 15, Tam. All right. I got a 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I All got right. a 10, just in case I need it. All right. All right, uh, Agrios, you're up. Uh, he approaches, shield in one hand. or And by approaches, I mean charges at Demi. <laughs> um, uh -huh. And okay. says, uh, You claim you're not dead. If that's true, then this ought to work. And he casts his favorite spell. Um, he is going to reach out with his free hand and attempt to cast Inflict Wounds. Right. At third level. Okay. <laughs> Demi is going to reach out and grab his hand, and it is going to be wrapped in red energy and should go, I don't think it will, and cast counterspell. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Right, so Anything else level. you would like to fail at Agrios? It's one third level <laughs> spell slot going down the down the drain. That's okay. Hey, if it makes you feel better, I'm a warlock. I only get the two. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, well, in that case, uh, Demi, you're up. Um, she'll just tackle, say, "My turn!" And uh, as a bonus action, she's going to clench her hand onto his fist and say, "Oh." I bet fairy's blood makes delicious wine. And she's going to cast Hexblade's curse on you with her bonus action. Um, right. So you're cursed. Uh, it doesn't hurt you at all, unless I do cool stuff. Um, doo -doo -doo, and then she's going to s swing her battle axe. All right. Does an 18 hit. That is my AC. Okay. Um, so that will be uh, this plus an additional three, so 15 slashing damage. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And this after I'd already gotten clobbered by those rock things earlier. <laughs> hey, that was a personal choice, I agree with. It is. 
and uh, then um half geez. my hp in one hit so she buries the packed weapon in your body pulls it out and then just licks the blade and just cackles at you <laughs> wow oh mm. Mm, i would i would like you if that didn't hurt so much mm-hmm. did you make Hello? it a habit of underestimating those smaller than you cole Anosha, is there anything you would like to do? <laughs> um, she does not want to get involved. So my uh, wildfire spirit is is summoned. She takes the form of a giant phoenix, and I'm just holding an action in case someone charges me. All right. Dahlia, you didn't roll initiative, so I added you at the bottom of the order just because you're here. Is there anything you'd like to do? Oh, thank you. I'll lean to, um, you see, if if anyone's looking, you would see Thalia lean over to um, Mogus, and she's gleefully pointing at certain things that Cole does and whispering into his ear. And Mogus is kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Col- Colgrios. <laughs> Colgrios, I love it. Uh, he. Hmm. Hmm. Remembering that charging in is what got him killed in the first place. It hmm. Might get him killed in the second place. How how big is this arena? How it, it's it's really just the size that's shown, huh? It's we, we the size that's shown. Yep. We have to stay close to each other. Yes. Mog- okay. Mogus doesn't like cowards. He doesn't like people who run. That's fair. <clears throat> I am going to, with my bonus action, create the uh, cast spiritual weapon, and create my axe, which All will right. immediately attack. Um, that is a second level spell slot there. That is going to be, let's see. So it's a melee spell attack, right? Oh, let me take a look at this. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, that is a 17 to hit. That will hit. Or where's my D8? There she is. For 10 points of, I believe it's force damage. Okay. Yeah. 10 points of force damage. And then, uh, as a my free object interaction, you said I still have all my stuff, so I'm going to pull out a javelin. Or wait, no, not a javelin. I have a wait a minute. I have a morning star. I forgot that I had that. I'm gonna take out my morning star and I am going to take the attack action. Uh and I'm definitely going to you know what? Mm. Mm. no i'm not gonna waste it right here uh does a 12 hit it does not no i didn't think so that's okay i got the spiritual weapon off um Um, so when you swing with the morning star um it should hit because demi is wearing cloth but as you get right where her skin would be there's a as you hit a level of aura that bounces your morning star away. Hmm. Okay. Um, Because Demi has armor of shadows. I see. All right. So yeah, that was bonus action, action. I got nowhere to move. That's it. Okay. Um... So 
Demi is going to kind of cock her head. And um, let me look at this and see if this is what she wants to do. Yeah, she's going to kind of cock her head at you and say, you know, you said something that I think might be true. You're already dead, so this should work. And then she's going to um, take her uh, her axe and she is going to headbutt it and it makes a boom sound as she casts Toll the Dead. So I need to make what a, what uh, wisdom, a constitution? Save. wisdom save. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm good at those though. An interesting idea. <laughs> we'll, we'll play Demi. We'll play. Mogus is, that, Mogus is, is happy. that is a 25. That will succeed. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Uh, so she's just going to kind of shake her head. And for a minute, she's going to have a moment of lucidity. And she looks at Aggers and says, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Did I look <laughs> quiet? You we're playing now. <laughs> You're crazy. And coming from me, that really means something. I'm only half crazy. Or didn't you get it from my name? Ah. I get it. <laughs> uh, that <laughs> will be the end of her turn, though. All right. Um, I'm assuming I know she's going to do nothing except keep her form. Uh, I'm assuming Thalia does nothing, so Agrio, sure up. All right. Hmm. I'm going to attack with the spiritual weapon first. Okay. By the way, is, is Armor of Shadows isn't concentration, right? No, no. No. It is at will mage armor. That's right. It's, it, that's what it is. It's at will mm. mage armor. Mm. Yeah, no. My concentration is rough there. Ooh, the spiritual weapon misses. That's no fun. It, it, ba it bad misses. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> um, okay. It's a natural four. Uh, yeah, that probably doesn't hit. Yeah. I, th um, I mean, it's... I don't feel it, the need to really, like, co conceal this from you. My AC is 16. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was my bonus action. Wasted. There was so much I could have done with that. Uh, I am going to... Should have brought popcorn. <laughs> I'm gonna oh. mm. uh, let me take a look at something yeah uh, Tam what is your what is your stance on performing somatic components with a focus If I have if I have a holy symbol on my shield, can that mm -hmm. could that be used for somatic components? Works for me. All You're right. in hell. So Enjoy it. The symbol <laughs> of of Mogus on his shield is going to start glowing red hot as he moves for a shield bash for another inflict wounds. Okay. Originally looking like he's going to go for a morning star swing but he pulls back at the last second and goes for a sucker bash with the uh, shield all right and instead of using my last third level spell slot i'm going to use a second level spell slot for this one okay uh not going to counter spell it or anything mm -mm. all right I have another use for that spell slot. Fair enough. That is going to be it. Believe it or not, it is a 16 to hit. That'll hit. Um, Because it's 10 and then so a melee spell attack is like it's like a regular melee attack, but with the spell mm -hmm. uh, modifier instead of your regular one. Right. It's been a while. So, yes. So, okay, so, yeah. so yeah, that would be exactly 16. Uh, that is going to be 
together my little pool here. All right. Seven, ten, seven, and six. So that's four, thirty. Uh, that is thirty necrotic damage. Okay, that <laughs> does not take me out. But <laughs> wow. um, Demi is going to just cackle. And as you hit her, the blood that comes out of her wound splashes on you, and it is boiling hot. Oh, I need no. you to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh, no. As I cast Hellish Rebuke. No, don't rebuke me. <laughs> I don't want to be rebuked. Dex save. Oh, no. You are rebuked. Oh, no. You're about to take me out. That's a four. Yeah, it doesn't do it. Please don't, please don't, please don't. So this is four D ten. No. Mm -hmm. I'm. I mean, <laughs> you can roll it if you want, but unless you roll astronomically low, I'm. I, uh, fifteen damage. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> All right. So the boiling blood splashes up on Agrios, and yeah. <laughs> I should have gone for the third level inflict wounds. I should have just gone Hail Mary. Just As soon as that happens, um, the uh, the lower horns and the axe disappear and Demi just goes, Oh, I did it again! Agrios, I'm so sorry! And she tries to, like, dress your wounds. Don't I... touch me! <sighs> oh, this is so embarrassing. Mogus, I'm Mogus, gonna cast... though... Sorry, go ahead on this shit. I'm just going to uh, cast Healing Word. Uh, as Agrios falls, as that last part hits and Agrios just goes down, Mogus stands up and pounds his fist on the stone in front of him and goes, Yes! <laughs> ah. And once she's not freaking out, Demi realize like, the adrenaline of the battle wears off. Demi, being at one health, goes, One health. Yes. <laughs> Mogus looks at Demi and goes, "You don't look so good." I don't feel so good, Mister Mogus. <laughs> Trickus, finisher. Uh -huh. And the Minotaur walks over and raises his axe. As he approaches you and takes a swing. Okay. That's a 14. It's not going to hit. <laughs> you dodge a little bit of, in your power and you dodge out of the way. Uh, and this, so the axe I do have clinks a, like, off the stone. I do have a, a narration for this because Demi is, she's freaking out. And as the axe comes down, out of her back, that astral hand comes up and just grabs the axe and throws it to the side. <laughs> cool. In doing that, it's actually going to cause it to come out of his hands. And it just goes skittering across the stone. And he just freezes. Debbie's going to check her body and just look up at him and go... <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to look up at Mogus and Mogus is going to just kind of lean forward and put up a hand and go that way <laughs> mm -hmm. and the Minotaur just turns and how as hard as he can with a hand okay Do I? I don't need to roll death saves at this point, do I? What's happening to no, me? No, you're I, you're you're not doing anything yet, because you had two people cast in healing, so you're going to be okay. So all right. But as for you, Demi, he takes a swing, and as he does, tell me how he misses. Um, Demi sees it coming and cowers, and because she's so tiny, he just goes right over her head. 
<laughs> and he loses his footing and trips a little bit and actually trips into Agrios. At which point, Mogus stands up again and slams his hands onto the stone, and you actually hear the stone crack as he hits it. You're making a joke of my warriors! Not on purpose, I promise! And then her, her head kind of twitches. Maybe your warriors are just a joke, Broken Horn. Stop it, stop it! <laughs> And, and, he will looks, laugh. and he looks and he looks at you and just who's in there. Um, and then Demi just kind of like her head lulls back, her eyes roll back in her head and the head comes forward and the horns are back down. And this time the voice that comes out is completely different. Good to see you, brother. I haven't been down here in a long time. Mm -hmm. Don't you recognize me? Mm -hmm. I should have guessed. Ah, oh, come, brother. We're just having a wee bit of fun. He points his hand out and to Agrios and just stand up. And you feel as though someone picks you up and pulls <clears throat> you to your feet. <clears throat> I'll consider this a draw. Your house, your rules, brother. No cheating. I oh, your claps. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, oh, a, a draw. <laughs> <laughs> now let's have him face a real, honest warrior. And he points at Demi and just summons you to come up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ah, uh, oh, okay, uh, sure, sure. And she's just going to kind of toddle up there. She's just, she's terrified. She's like looking at Hanosha like, help. <laughs> he will reach down and grab you by your horns and pull oh. you up onto the stadium oh, and sit you stop, down. Stop, 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 stop. Erebos is not going to like that you decided to come here. It wasn't my choice, I promise. I'm not talking to you. Bring if me she a could get warrior. any smaller, she would. <laughs> Bring me a warrior that makes sense for this battle. The gate on the side's going to open, Agrios. And out is going to step a minotaur. You haven't seen since... Since you murdered him. Protoss comes out, donned in armor, wielding a great axe. It's been a long time. Yes, brother, it has. Not long enough. And he is going to lower his head and charge forward towards you. Well, I guess it was too much to hope for you to be forgiving. <laughs> and he is going to come in and, and he's going to stop at the last second and just, he's going to ram you, but not enough to do great damage, but he's going to hit uh -huh. you and he goes, forget you murdered me. I always remember that I murdered you. I keep your horn with me. And he reaches and he back and takes out the, one. <laughs> He reaches back and that. takes out the war horn and holds it up. The one that's At been that, pieced back together. You just see this wave of anger go over his face. <laughs> oh, sorry, I shouldn't laugh. <clears throat> go, Agrios! Mogus chats with his uh, cohorts up on the uh, dais, specifically talking to the entity that is in charge of uh, Demi at the moment. 
Say, uh, brother, I can't help but notice you. Didn't you have a bloody large axe at one point? Uh, what'd you call it? Uh... <laughs> oh, sort of subject, <laughs> all right. <laughs> It was taken away when I was put here. I angered our brother. I was killing Iris, and apparently he didn't like the idea. Why? Well... And can you not... Can you not get out of here if you had it? It sits in a place that Krufix had made by Perforos. And unfortunately, I'm not allowed to set foot. Well, what about that handsome devil? And he, she, she, he points down at Acrios. <laughs> You'd offer him up after his dismal defeat. Dismal defeat? Lad, did you see what he did to poor Demi here? Did I broke her enough? And if we're going to talk dismal defeat, at least he did some damage. Your champion couldn't even lay a stroke on her. I think he'd be quite fitting for the role. And um, Talia will go ahead and jump down gracefully over the... Uh little barricade here and uh, walk up to him. You still look injured. Do you mind if I heal you? <clears throat> if Lord Mogus permits it. Oh, he does. He's rather powerful, but he cannot stop me from caring to you. And um, she will go ahead and uh, use Hand of Healing. Who are you? Rodos is going to be pacing around while you do that, and he's going to hear Agrio say this, Who are you? And Protos is going to just stop. You don't even recognize your mother? She pines on about you. You think you would know who she is, idiot. No, uh, he was he was rather young. I didn't expect him to recognize. Does she look the way that I remember my mother too? Yeah. Exactly uh, as you described earlier. Blue streak looks, in the hair and all. He looks taken taken aback. He looks at her more closely. He hadn't really looked at her too closely before. He was a bit distracted. Mother. But surely you must... You must hate me. I killed you. As much as I killed Protos. A mother's love is unwavering for her son. You... You did what... You felt was right. I... I didn't... I didn't know it was you. I know. And she takes your, your face in her hands and... She puts her forehead against yours and you are so much like your father. <sighs> and she uses hand of healing and you are back to full. Protos bangs the, his axe on the ground. Get a room! Are we fighting or not? Shut up for a moment! I don't know if you could call what you've been doing fighting, Minotaur! <laughs> <laughs> There were hoplites everywhere. I couldn't... I couldn't tell who was... My son. My son, I forgive you. I've forgiven you every moment of my death, and I have loved you. Each step of the way. 
Go make your God proud. I thought, I thought you would hate me. I thought every, ever. No. I love you, my dear. And I've shown it to you by the friends that have walked by your side. In every smile and every embrace. I've been there. I'm so sad to see you go so soon when you had so much left to do. They'll, they'll do it. I, I believe in them. I know you do. As I believe in you, you, you must take this quest for your God. All right then, Protos. If it will give you some satisfaction. Protus then face gonna, me. Protus is going to pick up his axe. And Mogus is going to raise his hand. Wait. Agrios. I have a mission for you. I will accept, as I have every mission. Rodos turns. No, I demand to fight! Mogus looks at him. You will. Agrios, you are to go from this place, and you are to retrieve Wrathbringer and bring it to me, no matter the cost. Can you do this? Ah, uh, he, he looks down. Uh, and and around and is trying to think whether he, a dead man, uh, can go on such a quest. Uh, how will this be possible? Is Wrathbringer somewhere in the lands of the dead? You sound scared. I fear nothing. If you command it, then I shall do it, or die trying, or, or be destroyed, I suppose. And he looks over at Demi. Is it a goss? I believe he can do it. Demi kind of looks down at you, um, eyes red. I brother. I rather think he can. Good. Go with him and show him the way. Oh, I don't have time for that, but I'll send Demi. She's pretty good. And then... Whoosh, Demi's back. What did I agree to? What did he agree to for me? Dahlia. You're to go with him. It would be an honor to accompany my son. Aww, and take mom. that centaur nice. cowering in the corner, too. I am not cowering. I do not believe in senseless violence. Rodos is getting angry, and, but I wish to fight! And he vanishes. <laughs> That's what oh, he dear. gets. Mogus stands up. I may be limited in what I can do to leave this place, but there is one power that even Krufix cannot stop. 
go to my maze and bring back my axe. And he slams his hand down. The world flashes. And you find yourself standing in a new room. There are four exits to this room, and you are standing in the center of it, alone. What would you like to do? Agrios is alone, or the four of us are alone? All, of, all four of you are there. Okay, Demi is going to be like, okay, uh, if everyone is dead, but me, I don't think time is that much of an essence. I need to sit down. And she's going to kind of slump down. I tried to fix the character sheets during the break, but apparently it didn't work because you guys still can't see them. So give me just a minute. Huh. Talk among yourselves as you're in the room trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> well, Demi would like to take a short rest. <laughs> All right. That's probably a wise choice. Okay. I could summon a... Uh wild companion to scout the maze for us and give us an indication of where to go. Smart. Or we could pick a random direction. <sighs> Spoken like a fairies. I'm going to summon a wild companion. Okay. Then the use of wild shape. Every time you can cast a spell, so it's just similar to a fey. And it will last for two hours. All right. Demi, I mean, why is your token not taking? Be a summon? I doubt Mogus wants me to stand here while your animal friend goes and explores the maze. Oh crap, I'm gonna need a short rest though. Are we we're, we're taking a short rest? Uh, yeah, it was mentioned that you wanted to, so you are welcome to. Yeah, De Demi needs to, uh, and she heals up to 29, but that's okay. That's enough. Demi, ah, just a minute. How old do you need to rest? My wild sheep. Ah. And now I need a to get a friend. Please companion. Demi, see if you can move your token now. Uh I can if I drag it out. Okay, well, that's good enough. That's a start. Okay. We'll, we'll slowly get there as you guys okay. figure out what you want to do, and I waste time trying to resync these. You know, there had to be something go right with this, right? <laughs> this is it. So. <laughs> Isn't it always? So everyone gets their nice uh, rest in. Time seems to be somewhat immaterial for the most part, but as you're resting, you do begin to hear noises at various places. Almost like something is, something large is uh, walking around inside this place. The sound sometimes echoes, but then you'll hear it from another place and there hadn't been sound for a while. So you don't know if it just is sometimes quiet, maybe? Hard to say. Alia, you should be able to move your token now. Or at least drag it out yourself. So. Oh yes. Here, let me. Boop. Yep. Excellent. And so all I got to do is fix the mimics, and then we're ready to go. There's a mimic in here. Where? Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. always a mimic in here. Dun dun dun. It's you. Don't be what? a mimic. Don't be, Don't be a, a mimic. mimic. Don't be a mimic. <laughs> Don't be a mimic. <laughs> Okay, why'd you have to make your name so hard to spell? I've mistyped it twice now. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a user error. 
Yeah, it is. My name is, is fantastic. I, I could have given her a last Han- name. Shots fired. I thought fired. your name was Hanosha. It is Hanosha. You ah! just said it was fantastic. Well, it's also fantastic. That's my middle name. All right. See if you can drag your token out onto the board there, uh, Hanosha. Hanosha fantastic. Hanosha fantastic. Hanosha fantastic. Ah, <laughs> ye. All right. We now have your tokens on the board, and they are in your control. So, ah, what can roll twenty do now? Not let me reveal areas, as I need to reveal areas, just like it always does. But hey, <laughs> at least we're back to normal then. Um, yes, M- Mr. Shu, why is Hinosha so much bigger than us? Because I'm giant. <laughs> because Whoa. she is the larger of the pains in the ass. There you go. <laughs> you know what? I will take it. I will take it. How much larger is her token? Let's see. We can, uh... No, no, I'm smaller. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not fair. <laughs> I don't like it. Make me bigger. Well, I would if you quit moving it. <laughs> quit moving me. That any better? Make my monster grow. He did not go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are inside this location, as mentioned by Mogus. It's his maze. It belongs to him. Where's my. Uh, Is that a Junji Ito reference? <laughs> Damn. Yes. It's, yeah. This is my hole. This hole belongs to me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. There's something coming through. Durr, durr, durr. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Uh, we love you too, Tim. You're, you're, you're an awesome train wreck. I, I just uh, love you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Agrius oh, is going to do exactly what he proposed. And while uh, Hinoshi is figuring that out, he's just going to go through a random direction. Okay. And that, random, and that random direction is going to be. And we're going to call up north. I know that's difficult to achieve. That's north. So just to East. make it a. Alrighty. All right. Demi does not want to be left alone, so we'll follow Agros. Yes, lead the way, my son. Uh, Your token just right. vanished. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So you make it into uh, a hallway. Make it our way. Make it our way downtown. <laughs> How annoying uh, could this right. possibly turn into? I guess we'll just have to make our way down, down. So that oh, hallway yeah. goes north. Yes, it does. And then further east. Into the darkness. Into the unknown. Into and the unknown. Uh, uh, <laughs> I wish that the uh, the actual yes. lighting would work properly on this map, but I've had trouble getting it to work. So we're leaving Hanosha behind, apparently. No, I know she has two inch long nails that cannot use her keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Uh, oh, 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 oh. That's it. Vicious I'm mockery. Changed- <laughs> <laughs> You're just fired. I am changing my name to something with about 25 characters. <laughs> right? Okay, something like with it. about 25 characters. <laughs> <laughs> So I do not. How dark is it in here? Because I don't have dark vision, and I don't um, have any spells. There are actually there are actually torches, so I'm going to oh. consider it well lit enough for you to be able to see. Well, that's good. Lit, fam. I don't know. Uh, all right. Uh, another. Another. Well, here, uh, I'll go ahead and since you can see, I'm trying to expand it to what another you would fork be in the road here. See. So there we go. There we go. Time for me to roll again. Another one. Time to roll again. Nah. <laughs> and I'm going to go further east again. What could possibly go wrong? He's going to get us all killed. Again. That depends on if we run into the um, walking creature of the maze. What? what? Have you not been listening? That's why I wanted to send a companion out to scout I the area. I haven't been here. Well, I thought you were doing that. You took off. Someone has to follow you to make sure you don't do anything more stupid. 
you are talking <laughs> to my son. And Talia like, <laughs> gives you really like the mom stare. Like <laughs> at, at which point um Demi's gonna kind of like make herself a little smaller and just walk under Thalia to follow him. He's like, I'm not getting in the middle of that. <laughs> I'm sorry, your son is an idiot, and I'll continue walking. All right. Which wh- where are we going now? Uh, uh so let's see. Um the old boy was anger from here. Like my room just got <laughs> colder and I was like, oh God. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to go south. It is rare, but it is deadly. No Moira anger. <laughs> Moirath. Oh my goodness. Moirath. Oh, no. <laughs> That's yeah. really good. And then, and then. Uh, That's what hoist. you gave me around for. Hoist. Oh, no. I actually did go underneath. Oh, yeah, there. oh no. <laughs> Debbie's gone! And just keep <laughs> I following. I just trample you on accident. I've decided to I just mean... walk on the wall. Yeah. Hey, you know what? It's a method. <laughs> How long would it take your wild friend to map this place out? Uh, depends on the size. When I get her... I think I only get her for about an hour, so if you want it, well, I can summon her and make it quick. I'm, I'm just going to keep following this path for a little bit and see where that goes. Okay. We're going to die. But sure, some of us have magical abilities, but why would do we th- use magical abilities? Do you think there's anything indicating which way to go? Like yeah. a puzzle? Mogus wouldn't do a puzzle, would he? I like him, to think be honest. he would. My Why knowledge of the gods is limited. Why are you here, by the way? Not this that axe, I'm complaining, but... This axe was here due to Crufix, am I correct? Yes. That makes more sense. So then, yes, it would be a puzzle. Hmm. Also, Hanosha, reminder, you are already dead. <laughs> You'll be okay. It's merely the point. I, I would like to say again, I'm not dead, and I would prefer not to die today. Is Nylea all right with you uh, coming with us, helping Mogus? After all, you know what war does to the wilderness. Also why I chose not to take part in the spectacle earlier. She's given me no indication that I should not continue on. I suppose if I go with you, if there's probably not any vegetation down here or animals, I can at least attempt to keep them safe. So this is about damage control for you then? Damage control, and mostly I just want to see what happens to you. This is quite entertaining. And I'm going to, I am going to summon my, uh, my wild companion. Okay. She takes the shape of a canary. All right. I do not currently have a canary token. (laughs) I know that might be hard to believe. How do you not? What does it do? But do you have a badger tail? What does it look like? A canary? Yeah. Does it just oh. look like a normal canary? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. It's not an abyssal yeah. canary? No. It looks it's like not. a treasure chest with one it eye. It does. It's a treasure chest with wings and one eye. I would have preferred that. That's a good one. I think I have a flying dog wild companion token. Somewhere. Your wild companion should have been an abyssal chicken. Just saying. Well, it's a black canary because that's the closest thing I could find. <laughs> Fine. Hey, Fine. does that canary have an eyeball? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what is this, Pam? Just a minute. I'm I'm trying to uh, find your. Uh... Where the heck are you in here? I kind of disappear through the walls because I'm only I like. So. One I'm trying direction. to give you access to the tick. To the token there we so go hopefully there it is. okay all right i can move it cool. the eyeball bird awesome okay so uh Agrios, what were you doing 
Oh, I was just going to continue for a moment. And I want to at least reach a dead end before we backtrack. Okay. I want to see what's going on here. I am going to send... you. you know what? Instead of continuing forward, uh, you know, he's feeling a little bit generous. <sighs> I'm going to say something I never say, but I want your opinions. Should we forge ahead or should we backtrack? If we send Sage ahead, we could at least get an idea of what's before us. All right. <laughs> that would have been my vote, is to let the bird tell us what it sees. Well, if it's a puzzle, then the bird may not be intelligent enough to grasp that. We may be wanting to look for certain stones or impressions, or perhaps in the original chamber there was um, a I scroll. Have... I assure you, she is something different. She's intelligent. Backtracking then. Pam, can I roll a history check to see if I know anything about like Crufix's maze? Being that I am an acolyte and would know things about the gods. Okay. Mogus said it was his maze. Well, yeah, I was but gonna, I was gonna I say go ahead, build it. go ahead and roll for it. Yeah. No, he had Perforus build it. Oh, okay. Okay. Prufix is the one who put his axe here. Uh, I'm making all the gods messy in this one. <laughs> uh, 17. You are familiar with the uh, the maze of Mogus. Uh, the history of it is apparently, and there, there's some twist on this, nobody knows. Apparently Mogus had a daughter uh, with a human. And that daughter was a bit shall we say, crazed. Uh, the mother uh, did not want her. She was embarrassed of her because she was a minotaur. She had the face of a bull. So uh, this maze was built as a home for her. Unfortunately, uh, while she was being fed and food would be brought in regularly by the servants, eventually she found she had a taste for the servants more than the food they brought. So then I the will. maze was used more as a uh, form of punishment. They would drop people in and uh, allow them to be uh, hunted by the occupant of the maze. I will share this information with the party and say, so it's possible that the daughter has the axe, or if nothing else, at least we know we're being hunted in here. But Thalia said as much. She said there was a creature in here. I need all of you to roll me a perception check, please. Oh, no. Ooh, I have... One, one day, I'm going to make a character that's good at that. That's, <laughs> that's... that's not a Drastos, and it sure as hell not did it. <laughs> that's a 25. A, that's a 6. 16. 25, you said? That is a 25. I have a plus 6. Oh, that's a big 4. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 3 with a plus 3. This is what happens when you bash your head into your battle axe. You can't see anything. <laughs> Kenosha, you're kind of facing away from everyone else, thinking about, you know, what's the rest of the path? Could we map this? You know, why are we being idiots and roaming around this thing in the manner in which we're roaming around it? When suddenly you hear a noise, it echoes for a moment, and you, t you have to think about it. But you also have your uh, animal companion there who's able to provide you some information. And from that, you're able to realize... It's coming from back the other direction. Oh my gosh. And you have just enough time to shout a two-word warning to Agrios. Uh, told you. Damn. To told you so. Can I have three? Can I have three sure. words? Told sure. you so. And with that, you hear the thundering of hooves as a minotaur bursts forth from the darkness. And I need you to roll initiative, please. Dun, dun, oh, dear. Dun, 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 dun. Damn, it's a nine. That's a 19. 
Uh, actually, you can probably click your token and do it. Oh, hold on. It's got a whole bunch of... It does this every time I clear it, and then they're back in here. Hold on. Let me clear it again. Roll 20, and I just have this hate-hate right. hate relationship going on. Okay, let's try it again. If you had a previous roll, go like ahead and roll, rolled, and we'll take the new note. I like how I rolled the same thing on, on roll 20 as I did in real life. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I like the parentheses dead before Agrios. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, uh, I, uh, I didn't put that there. That happened automatically when I died. Oh, fantastic. I got a 14. Okay. It didn't add. Oh. Oh, it did. Okay. So you got a 14. Okay. What do we have for uh, Demi? And it's going to take me a while to type your name in, uh, Chael, so you're going to have to give me a minute. Okay. Okay. 23. 23. Okay. That's not what I wanted my nat 20, but... You know, here we are. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put your first name there, Chell. <laughs> <laughs> and what Close did you roll? Enough. What did you roll? What did you roll? Me? Yes. Uh it got lost in the thing. Hold on, scroll up. What did I roll? I think it I think it was a nine or something. Um, it's a nine on uh, chat, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that would be. I even nine. clicked my token. Bad token. Yeah, it's, you know, roll 20. It's not always cooperative. But what we have here is Demi up front as this Minotaur comes charging out around the corner, which you really can't see directly from where you're at, but you could hear the warning and you could hear the thundering of the hooves. So you know something's coming. You know it's on the other side of Agrius. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Twice in one day, I'm gonna have such a hangover. Back into Zinagos form, summon the axe, run around the corner, um, and Hexblades curse the Minotaur. Okay. Is there anything I need to do on that? Um, no. It I just happens. So. Yeah. Um, I'm and trying to, uh, I don't have a good a good marker for Hexblade Curse, so. Uh... A oh wait a minute! It might make you feel better, Agrios, to know that I I did end at one, but I did not finish the fight at one because since I cursed you, I finished it at ten. <laughs> because I absorbed some of your essence. <laughs> okay. Well. Um. Anyway, so yeah, he is, uh, or she is cursed. Um, oh, I crit on a 19, I do three extra damage on all of my hits, and if she dies, I get nine health back. There, give us a little bit of visual. Yeah, this this map does not contour directly to the snap of the grid, so bear with. Okay. All right, Hexblade Curse, what else? Uh, I used my action to summon my packed weapon. Okay. So that's all I can do. Um, all right. And ju just because we, just so everyone knows, since we are within the rules, I can get the horns because I also have mask of many faces. So it's disguise self. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Agrios. Uh, All right. Um, so I see this, this monstrous minotaur in front of me. Uh, what does she look like? Especially in comparison to like other minotaurs that I've known. You are you are actually surprised to see you were expecting a female minotaur, but who you are facing is the friend you murdered, Protos. Oh, but he uh -oh. looks he looks different in the effect that his eyes are red with rage, and he doesn't look quite in control of his own mind. Okay. Uh hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't think this is the right direction. And, uh... Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to run away. But I also don't particularly want to fight him right now. 
uh screw it i'll do it um <laughs> Yep. I'm going to, with a bonus action, cast Shield of Faith. Okay. Uh, raising my AC by two for the next 10 minutes, or as long as I can concentrate on it. Um, and then with an action, I am going to Hmm. Pull the dead. Yep. I'm gonna with it with with his action. So after holding his shield up and whispering a quick prayer, and it, the holy symbol on it lights up, and he feels uh, shielded by his faith. He takes a hand and bong, and the sort of as he strikes his shield, the sound sort of resonates. Toll the dead, it is a wisdom saving throw, or he takes 2d8 necrotic damage. That is a 13! <laughs> All right, uh, the save is 14. Yep, I figured he failed. How uh, much necrotic? Right. How much necrotic? Uh, Sorry. Uh, it was... I actually forgot to roll it yet. Sorry. Oh, well, it would be good to know. <laughs> Nine. Nine necrotic damage. Nine necrotic damage. All right. Jimmy sees that and says, yeah, Just, that's a much better way to, better way to do the, that. <laughs> the horn. He, he has one horn. The other one was broken off, uh, obviously. And a little bit, the little nub that exists rots and falls off. I feel like I've probably just pissed him off. <laughs> Anything uh, else you'd no. like to do? Nope, that's it. That's for, that's me. All right. Talia. I don't know if she heard me. Talia. I did. Hello. Okay, good. I'm to, <laughs> sorry. I haven't, I haven't played a monk in ages. Okay. Um... Time for dope monk shit. Let's see. I jump up I... on the wall, run across the roof for 120 feet. <laughs> My mom's yeah, a monk. Yeah. She's a monk of mercy. Wow. Perhaps why she forgives you. Mercy monks um, are awesome. Yeah, she's sick. Okay. Um. Well, hopefully she'll get better soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I... We're in a pretty narrow hallway situation, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Mm, there's not a ton of options. Uh -huh, that's my <laughs> problem. <laughs> yeah, there's not. That's... I take no pleasure in this whatsoever. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I, I, I bet you're just struggling. Okay, well, I'll be here. I guess I, I have some darts. Can I, am I at an angle in which I can throw that? Uh, kind of? uh, it would be, t I mean, I, I, that's got to be at least three quarter cover from where he's standing, mm. but you know what? I'm got. I said he charged forward. I'm going to move him a little bit forward because just because he lost initiative. I, yeah, I still think that's going to be at least three quarter cover. I mean, that's fine. Okay. Can I hold, um, can I hold, uh, an action to do hand of healing on, uh, Agrios? If he uh, what's, takes damage. If he takes damage, okay. If he takes... Can I, like, clarify? Like, if he only takes, like, three points, I don't want to waste it, but... If, if he gets whacked pretty hard. Yeah, I can... Uh, Hand of Healing is 1d6 plus 3, so I would want him to lose 9 plus. How's that? Okay. All right. Cool. I, I, I would say that's a fairly hard smack. So. All right. Uh, if he gets Great. a hard I, smack... I got, I got healed to full before, right? Yes, you did. Okay. All right. Mumsy's got you. Cool. So she, yes, your mom will just kind of gotcha. come up. Yeah. She'll come up behind you and um, she'll kind of place a hand at, on, on your, uh, on your flank. Uh, and um, mom. Just, 
<laughs> not for my friends. In a caring, <laughs> loving, motherly way. <laughs> She's just at the ready, and she'll she'll just say she'll just say I've got you. Mom put embarrass me in front of the girls. As long as long as a, as long as a wild Peter doesn't appear, we're okay. All right. So <laughs> is he still there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's still. He he probably he probably shook his head and left. I would have. Anyway, <laughs> um, very good. So the uh, Minotaur is going to stop. Open his mouth and kind of spit at you, and this green Ew. arrow is going Ew. to come forth from his mouth. Yucky. Wait a minute. And uh, do what? Are you telling me that Honosha brought out a black canary, so he brought out his green arrow? Yes. Ah! That is a 12. That is pretty funny. I didn't think of it that way, but thank you. Uh, that is. <laughs> If only we had Black Adam, we'd have it all set. Um, mm -hmm. That is going to be a 12, which I believe misses. Same universe. So anyway, 12 uh, Black Adam and Black Adam. No, anyway. I, I know. Anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> I assume a 12 misses. Uh, on who, me? Yes, yes, you. Yes. Yes. So the arrow whisks past you, hits the wall, and splatters kind of sizzles on the wall as it was an arrow of acid. I don't remember you being able to do that. <laughs> and uh, with that, it's going to be uh, something's turn. Alrighty. <laughs> something's turn. Oh. Something with about 25 characters, yes. Yep. That's something right. Something with about 25 characters. Use their, f their full Nylian name. <laughs> <laughs> something Alrighty. wicked. This one, no. That's, oh, dude, I'm going to have to change my name. Anyway, <laughs> we are going to cast Wither in Bloom because I did take the spell and it is going to be useful. Hi -ya! All right. And what are you casting this on? And does it require a line of sight? Uh, let's see. On a point within range, each creature of your choice in that area must make a con saving throw. The only okay. thing I want to make in a con saving throw is that stupid minotaur. <laughs> Okay. All right. And that is... Oh, you said con. I'm sorry. I almost yep. added the wrong value to it. Uh, that is a 30-20. A 30-20. So you will take half damage. Okay. So 2d6 cut in half. That makes them hard to roll. I know it does. Wait, who's rolling the damage? Me or you? You. Why would I roll your damage? <laughs> Roll your damage, Punish. woman. <laughs> <laughs> Punishment. <laughs> so, did it roll two d sixes, or do I have to hit this thing twice? Uh, it looks like it did. Yes, it did. So that is eight, a whopping eight Necrotic points. Necrotic damage. Necrotic damage. In addition, Excellent. one creature of your choice in that area can spend and roll one of its unspent hit die and regain a number of hit points. So, is if anybody, anybody down needs... any HP? I am, but I have no hit die left. So, so oh well you screwed <laughs> <laughs> Did I i'm okay when when he dies it will heal me <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm not i'm not I'll questioning just... it <laughs> all right Fetch anything else his soul anything else something uh, uh, that is all i can do all right it is your turn demigod <laughs> Okay. Um, I got a pun, right? That was a good one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. That, that was, was better good. than the, the way to hell being paved with good intentions. I mean, this one actually works. Um, so did your, good pun. <laughs> did your Toll the Dead work? It did, right, Agrios? Your Toll the Dead did the damage. It did. It did do that damage. Right. So <laughs> Debbie's going to smack her head into her uh, axe again and Toll the Dead Ow. herself. <laughs> So I need you to roll for me to a uh, wisdom save. That's a fail. Excellent. <clears throat> so that'll be 2d12 since he is wounded. Uh, I didn't realize or... this was going to be a 10-hour one-shot, but we'll get there. <laughs> It's Sorry. fine. <laughs> that will be 11 damage. 11 necrotic damage. Excellent. 
You again see some minor wilting and, and damage, but doesn't seem to be doing a hell of a lot. Uh, but in, instead of a, a bell, it makes like a guitar riff. Just... <laughs> <laughs> be excellent to one another. Anyway. Oh, it's not doing a lot, as in like... Do we think maybe there's some resistance there? Hard to tell, but uh, I would say that it does, it it doesn't seem to be doing less. It just doesn't seem to be making a large amount of a large dent. Yeah, yeah. So, and then, uh, so as a bonus action, um, Demi is going to look. Oh, hold on, wait. What am I going to do as a bonus action? Is this a bonus action? I'm sorry. No, that's not. That's an action. That's fine. Um, is going to stay where she is. <laughs> right. I was thinking she was going to move, but she she wouldn't. She's crazy right now. Okay. It, it fits in with the rest of the group. All right, Agrios. Should I call you Agrios or Cole? I'm just not sure what to go with now. You know, pick your favorite. <laughs> Um, oh, Chris. Pick your favorite. So it seems like we've all uh seems like we've all committed to uh fighting here. Um hmm. Okay, I'm going to with a bonus action Misty step to the other side of him. Okay. It's not cowardice to flank, is it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. And they probably uh, ran away. Well, I'm not going to answer that. You'll have to figure that out from Mogus yourself. But I would say, you know, from a Tam perspective, no, it's not. I would just call that. But then I fight dirty, so, you know. That was going to be my bonus action, so I'm glad you did that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I used my bonus action to Misty step behind him, and then with my action... I am going to take my morning star and try to whack him. Okay. Whack away. Oh, wait. No, <laughs> someone gave me a battle axe. Who did that? I have a battle axe. I'm going to do that then with the battle axe. That's, that's much more thematic. I know Adrastus gave you a hand axe. You did, but apparently so I got a battle axe somewhere as oh, well. How about that? There's an 18 to hit. That is a hit. Um, and that is going to be... Unfortunately, I'm not wielding it two-handed. Uh, eight slashing damage. All right. Uh, hello, roll 20. Wake up. Just... Slowly but surely whittling down. Oh, I forgot. I'm, I'm flanking, so technically I should have rolled with advantage as well. Uh, but it wouldn't have been better. So, whatever. All right. Well, you can roll with advantage. You might get a nat 20. I did. It wouldn't have been better. Okay. <laughs> um, Never mind. So that was bonus action, action. I'm going to leave it there. All right. Very good. Elia. Um, Talia smiles and you see she's <laughs> an opening. Perfect. And um, she'll step forward and make an unarmed strike. Okay. Against Mr. Protos here. Do, 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 do. That is a ooh, eight to hit. Not amazing. That's a miss. She'll spend a key point to do flurry blows. Oh, bunk shit! A 21 to hit. All right, that's a hit. I'll roll the other one. That's a seven, so that one didn't hit. Um, So I'll go ahead and do the damage of the one that hit. So that's six. six? And then I okay. would also like to spend another key point for Hand of Harm. <laughs> To deal an extra 1d6 of necrotic damage. Nice. Right. That's nine necrotic damage as well. All nice. right. So um definitely looking like it's taking a little bit of damage now. You can see a little bit of wear and tear. 
across his body as you've been pounding and beating and stabbing and other things upon him. So, putting the hurt in the dirt. Yep. Anything else? Uh, no, I think that's it from her. All right. Very good. She just, she, you can tell she looks very like thrilled to be fighting along her son. <laughs> that's all. She's just smart. Like she's happy. Like this is a fight, but you can tell that she's just like, yay, bonding. Like she's, like, <laughs> she's excited. All right. So uh, the Minotaur is just, just yells out in, in rage and charges forward and swings its head towards Demi in an attempt to gore. And uh, that is going to be a horrible roll that I am absolutely ashamed of. Uh, that is a six, 16. So that would actually hit me, oh, but well, it's not I'm going either. to because okay. Demi sees it coming and for a minute just goes, ah, and she drops down. But the image of like four horn Demi stays and the Minotaur hits that and keeps going as I cast she. All right. Keeps going. Hits the wall with the shoulder and then drives forward with its horns at Thalia. That is going to be a uh, 17. That hits. All right. I mean, oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want him to at least hit something. Otherwise, he's no threat whatsoever, right? So that is going to be. 10 piercing damage as you are gored by the horns of the beast. Cool. Uh, something? Alrighty. That does suck. I am going to move up and I am going to cast Mold Earth on that five foot radius that that stupid minotaur is standing on and it will become <laughs> All difficult right. terrain last okay. for an hour Hi all right wonderful and i think that's all i can do because i move to the cat wheel that's one action yes all right very good demi you're up well that wasn't very nice and she's gonna take an upward swing two-handed with her packed axe okay Okie dokie. Uh, so that will be 21 to hit. Uh, that's a definite hit. Excellent. Ah, uh, minimum damage, eight. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's damage, right? You know. It, it's certainly that. Don't do it. Um, and that is all I can do. Very good. Egrios, he hurt right. your mommy. He did do that. <laughs> Only I'm allowed to do that. No, I'm just kidding. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Only I can kill my mother. <laughs> Dr. Freud would like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, he's Agrios is going to uh forget himself for a moment, drop his shield. Um, if you'll let me just drop it, I know by the rules technically it's supposed to take like an action to doff it or something like that. But uh, we're short on time. It's a one shot. <clears throat> go for it. <laughs> It's not like it's strapped to my arm or anything. I drop it. Uh, he is going to two-hand his battle axe and go swinging. All right. Uh, and that is... Okay. So I'm going to channel divinity on that. It would normally be a 14 to hit. I'm going to make it a 24 to hit. That's a hit. Um... <clears throat> going to be Ooh. that 
is going to be what's the it's 10 slashing damage and then i'm going to use my war priest uh ability to attack as a bonus action okay Uh, that one is a 21 to hit. That's a hit. Or, uh, seven, no. Is that right? No, it's not right. Uh, I'm sorry, my brain is malfunctioning. Um, 11 slashing damage. All right. He is definitely beginning to show some signs of woundage here. So might say right. bloodied. So yeah, basically, Agrius drops his shield, two hands the axe. Ah! <laughs> Don't touch my mother! Uh, you know what? I forgot to roll uh, advantage on both of those uh, because I'm flanking. I'm a fool. <laughs> you don't mind me rolling those real quick? I don't know. Wouldn't have been any better. All right. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, Thalia. Hmm. All right. Once again, I will go ahead and do an unarmed strike. Hit, please. 11. That's a miss. <laughs> Key point. <laughs> <laughs> Flurry flows. There is a hit. 23. Yep. Other one, please hit two. 12. Nope. Gosh, I chose a character that can hit three times. And each time and I only twice. hit once. No, 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 you didn't. No, you didn't, obviously. <laughs> Has the Ooh. opportunity to hit three times, not can. So. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, I'll do me bludgeoning damage. All right. There's an eight. There be right. damage. So as you are all attacking and this these flurries are coming in and Cole yells out that, Don't touch my mother. The Minotaur looks back at him, reaches his hand out, smacks Thalia on the chest. And that Rude. oh god. Oh god. Sir. Did he crit? <laughs> That's going to be a nat 20. Oh. oh, no. So how do we want to do nat 20s tonight? Because <laughs> uh, uh, normally, normally we do max we do. damage. Plus a die roll, if I remember max correctly. Max plus roll, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Which I'm more than happy to go with, but uh, I got to get 3d10 to roll. Oh, jeez. Oh, I have two attacks. I'm a dummy. <laughs> well, if you survive this, I'll let you take it. Um, okay. So that's going to be uh, beginning with uh, 30 points of necrotic damage. 30 plus points, Plus whatever I roll. Said... Plus whatever Holy I roll. Holy shit. So that's 10 uh, plus 13. So that's an additional 13 on top of that. So 43 damage? 43 points of necrotic damage. Jesus. I'm pretty sure that's instant death for me. Yep. Pam, hey, stop killing this family. Did I just <laughs> did I just did I just get my mom back and then immediately lose her again? Yes. I thought this was supposed to be a send-off just, for Agri. Just, Tam, did I just doing? watch did I just watch her soul get destroyed in front of me? So by yes, the it reaches brother out. that I killed. Hits Thalia, and you just watch as the necrotic damage spreads across her. This was inflict wounds, by the way, and just spreads across her. Her skin draws tight. Wait, she hold on. It was inflict and falls wounds? to the ground. Yes. At what level? It doesn't say what level it's at. If it was three D ten, it was level three, probably, or level probably. two. Uh, no, well, it, no, three D ten is a normal first, like, first level it's, necromancy. It's first level. First then level. it didn't happen. Because Demi sees that happening and says, hey, that's cheating, and grabs his hand and casts Counterspell. I'm going to do this, then. There is uh, a moment 
there is a moment where the hand reaches out and this energy goes forward that just as it's catching and hitting Thalia and you can see across her face what's happening, you stop it. So there's a moment that, Cole, you have to wonder, did you just get your mom killed? And then Demi steps in. Well played. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Something. Oh. You're up. 48. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't think I can use it. I am. I have I, a well, I get my other attack because I lived, right? Ooh. That is what I said. <laughs> I lived, bitch. <laughs> I lived. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like shake my head and shake out of it. And I go, fuck you. <laughs> oh, yes, that one hits. <laughs> nice. She goes, where did you touch me? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. That is six budgeting damage. And you know what? I'm going to spend another key point and I'll do hand of harm. Okay. And that's another seven. So 13 so you've total. you've done damage. all your attacks this time? That was a follow on from a previous turn. So, all right. Okay. Okay. That was pre okay. okay. I see. Okay. Right. You want to do something, something? <laughs> yes. I can't use Tidal Wave, unfortunately, because I've been trying to figure it out this entire battle. You messaged me about it, but then the other people started getting in front. And I'm like, fuck it. I'll just move, get in. Yeah. I'm like, oh. So that's okay. I am going to cast flaming sphere the second level and i'm going to drop it on the minotaur level five foot diameter sphere of fire appears in an unoccupied god does it have to be unoccupied if that's what it says i've, I've never used it before oh. okay. yeah because he's not going to go to the side i think there's an unoccupied square to the south of him uh, yeah, there's actually a wall there. There's oh, a wall but. that you can't. That's why I just moved him up a little bit, but so you can see. Oh, but actually a wall. So, oops, oh, sorry. Now I'm grabbing the wrong damn tokens. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, yeah, I am not built for single file combat. I might can hit him with a scorching ray though. Drop that down to second level. I didn't pick a maze for any reason other than it keeps you all in single file. <laughs> mm -hmm. we're gonna do scorching ray at the second level then. that's not true but you know okay i got three rays of fire and i can hurl them at my targets hmm. just out of curiosity how tall are the ceilings you know let's go with 20 feet so if this if it's 20 feet tall can yeah. I cast it in the air above him and let it fall on top of him for my flaming spear? What the hell? This is a ruling for this one shot only. Sure. Yes! <laughs> flaming okay, spear, incredible. I cast it in the air right. above him. Write that down. Preston has been established. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my notes. <laughs> Next time Adrastos casts Flaming Spear. Of course. <laughs> next time Adrastos casts wins. Flaming Spear, no problem. Uh, he can cast time, Fireball if, at the same you, time. If you try to dis if you try to, to dispute it, we'll be like, nah, actually the ruling no. in Tam versus Chael uh says that uh, you can drop a flaming spear on people. <laughs> Any creature okay, so it's gotta make a dexterity. But only only if the roof is exactly 20 feet, though. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gotta make a deck saving throw. All right. Uh, that is a horrific fail. Yes. Yeah, so you take the 2d6 damage. So you'll take all eight fire damage. Eight fire damage. All right. Yes. The I fire think... hit the fire hits him and burns and the flesh just peels off of his skeleton, which then crumples to the floor, turns to ash and vanishes. Did I did I did I did I kill him or do we have a minotaur skeleton in front of us? Uh the skeleton uh turned into ash and just dissipated into the ground. So. 
Never thought a Lagana would uh, save you. I could have done that. But you didn't. You're welcome. I was about to. Demi's uh, <laughs> aspect falls off and she turns to tell you, did he hurt you? He didn't get you, did he? Agrio, she should be able to see a little bit more since you're uh... to speed things up. I'm going to say that when this happened, there was a uh, flash of light, and this entire section around you lit up some. Oh, hey. oh well, that's nice. Give you a little bit of opportunity Ooh. here. What can we <laughs> steal? Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. Okay, so this this area would be a dead end. Uh, hmm. Unless we went... Okay. Is that a wall? Yeah, that's a wall. Okay. So, Agrius is going to follow the path back, seeing that this fork both directions lead to a... Uh, well, rather, yeah. North would be a dead end, so he's going to go south and around basically heading down this away i'm not in front i'm just moving there preemptively yeah same my bird carrying its eyeball i'm gonna move it to and heads up into this area tam what are these tables here what are we looking at they are tables <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like there are things on them. It looks like there's like a yeah. skeleton lying there. Is there, there anything? There is a skeleton lying off to the side with all the flesh gone, and it actually looks as though the bones have been gnawed upon. On the table are rotting food. So apparently, food that had been brought in and never eaten. Oh. Gross. Oh, I see. Since you moved around, I'm going to reveal some other areas you would have seen as you were passing through. So give me a second while I catch up with your movement there. Okay. Mm -hmm. The stench of um, rotting food could potentially uh, cover us if we wanted to carry some with us or spread it, spread it on our bodies. That's a wonderful idea. Uh, Thalia will pick some up and just kind of uh, almost ceremoniously like it was war paint she'll kind of spread some on her son and then put some on herself <laughs> I am sure there is an OnlyFans out there of a mother spearing rotted food on a son so. oh! yes. <laughs> I was really thinking something along those lines I as well. love my son someone was like this yeah, is someone's do. fetish yeah. um, <laughs> You guys start. Well, it's actually Chell's fault. She started it. But anyway, <laughs> why is it always my fault? I can accept that's that. a good question. <laughs> anyway, look at this face. Can my my really next character is just going to be Doctor Freud. And every yeah. time somebody makes one of these, <laughs> then did you first want to put garbage on your son? My he, he, he has Freud's magic couch. And tell me more about these feelings for your mother. <laughs> You know what they say about the Freudian slip where you say one thing and means your mother. Eat your mother? I'm, just, what? I'm trying to be a warrior. It's not working. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll try to be. No, I like it. Yeah. It's good. I'm it's sorry. I, I wasn't even thinking anything like that until Tam said something. It's all these degenerates. Bitches. <laughs> instead, of, instead of being loving and... and Smearing it on everyone else, she'll just throw it at y'all. <laughs> Demi will dodge. Demi does not want the food on her at all. <laughs> no, she does not. She's not taking that either. All right. All right. What would you all like I am to going. Do? I'm uh, sure it's a fairy so sign of, of affection, but not for Demi. All right. North sending... Path. There's... I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, something was saying something. I'm something, sending something. Sage out ahead. To north scout. or south. North or south. If it's if we're deciding between two directions, Agrios is going to dig out some bones. 
Roll the boat. Right. He is going to use augury and ask, would it be, would it advance them toward his goal to move on the north path? Roll. Oh, I roll? Oh, that's right. I thought you did roll for this, didn't you? Or I can roll uh, for it, and that way you won't augury, know what I'm... For the first use? Hold on, let me see. Maybe you don't for the first one. It's been a while since we've used this. Let me this. look at it. Augury. Oh, While you're doing that, uh, something, tell me uh, about what you're having your bird do. I want her to fly ahead and see if there's any more creatures in front of us. Uh, it, any, I mean, fly ahead, she's going to smack into a wall. Give me some idea what you mean by fly ahead. because You don't know what direction you're going, so do I need something to Do the direct. walls go floor to ceiling? Like yes, yes, all the way up. Okay, yep. I I wanted to follow the this path right here a little ways and see if there's anything. Ahead. Okay, since so you're going down that way because you got her up the other way. Okay, yep. cool. Uh, okay, there so is no she... roll involved. Okay, well in that case, not, uh... not not for the first use of the day. All right. Well, in that case, the answer is yes. Okay, so if your bird's following that path, I'm going to move it down here so we know kind of what path it was going to follow, and I will open up what it would be able to see, depending on how long it's going that direction. So, okay. All right. The uh, Agrios proceeding. The answer is going to head north. The answer is wheel. To be clear. Yep. And uh, move around the gum. bend. Frickin' roll twenty. Just a moment. Sorry. That's all right. Okay. Click number seven. Let's try it again. Roll twenty. Hey, you just never. It's it's like rolling the the rolling a d twenty. You just never know when you're going to get a good roll, and it's going to actually let you do something. Oh God, he should have been more specific. But no, there was no way to be more specific. It's a yes or no question. Like it's a binary. Well, that's right. I mean, will choice. it? Will going north advance your goal? Yes. <laughs> All right. He's going to move this way. I'm not actually moving the bird token as I'm revealing things because otherwise I'll lose the ability to reveal things. So just Choosing bear that with me central, as the bird's flying around. So. That central western path. So like that. Like that. And to the end here, where it forks. Hopefully I'm not forking it up. It's a forking path. <laughs> you forked up a long time ago. Stop. How dare you? <laughs> you think I'm going the wrong way, huh? I do. It said it said it would it said it was advancing toward my goal to go this way. We the have we have a lie. We have a magic bird. Let's let's get some help from. The I magic have mag. I have my <laughs> magic bones. The bones don't lie. I mean, they may not lie, but your interpretation of them could be incorrect. Technically, I, advancing any direction in a maze will eventually get you where you need to go. <laughs> thank you. That's <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but okay. Yeah, but <laughs> Timmy's just gonna sit down on the stairs. <laughs> Even so, it's a binary choice of wheel or woe. There's got to be like a yes and a no. And one moment, please. Z, I hate you. <laughs> he wait, clipped wait, me wait, making the, the decision ah. <laughs> about the flaming <sighs> spear. <laughs> Z is my bro. I have like. Z is the man. Come on. This is, my, this is probably my last ever use of augury. You can't take this from me. You can't I, give me I, like the. I will say I answered honestly and accurately exactly what All you right. request right. and in with the goal that Mogus is behind this. He wants you to win. So he answered in the way that would answer. Can you achieve the mission going this way? Because that's right. what he wants. All right. Fair enough. All right. So. And he would know the end. maze. That's a dead end. He's going to run back around the other way. Um, so. Hail. Yes. Just because of Demi's more wild half, and because she's thinking about, all right, who's, whose maze is this? 
She's going to summon her axe and she's going to attack the wall. She's trying to barrel through the wall with her weapon. Okay. Interesting. So I support this. I think that might <laughs> damage the integrity of the weapon. It's not real. It's oh, it's fine. a packed it's a packed weapon. Yeah. <laughs> It'll All be right. fine. Uh roll an attack. Uh twenty-two. That hits. Absolutely. Roll damage. I would hope that it hits a wall. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done if you rolled a nat one and you missed? I would have I would have cried. It would have damaged his axe. I had actually thought of this, so I actually know what's going to happen. I figured this group, somebody would try to go through the walls. Mm -hmm. Eight damage. Eight damage. Uh, you hit it, and it cracks the stone. And you feel heat emanating from it. From the crack. Ah, maybe we shouldn't do that. Okay. Just step away from the crack. It was worth a try. <laughs> and then she calmed herself down. Oh, did I break that? Oh. It was a good try. It could your, have worked. Your bird has made its way and uh, uncovered some area, but you can now see what you see. So, so I can go this way and be reunited with my bird? Mm-hmm. Reuniting. Feels so I'm good. on my way upward. Do what? Oh, I said I'm on my way upward. I'm on going north. All right. I'll Why is there this? Follow. I'm going to go ahead and bring that because there's no reason that would be hidden. So you make your way a bit northward there, uh, Agrius. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does the canary communicate what it sees, or like, do we just see what it sees? I think it can communicate. It's communicating it, it back to something. Yeah. Did I'm it say tell what us to what something. this like hey. weird door thing in the wall was? It can identify it's there, or, you know, it's like a, a door, but that's all it's able to tell you. Okay. That was concerning, because I heard that. Oh, yes, I'm rolling dice constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. It's the best thing to do as a DM, is just roll dice and then make faces. Yep, you don't you even don't have, have to have a reason to do, do it. it. Oh, I, I can guess why he's rolling dice. We about to die for reals. There's something out there hunting us. Oh, yeah. An evil demigod. It's fine. No big deal. Okay. No, I'm right here. Tam, Tam, <laughs> Tam show me the dead end. Show me the, show me the dead mm -hmm. end so I can just move on with my life. <laughs> Sorry, I've got like two windows opening here on top of everything, so I couldn't see where you were. So, yeah, I'm trying okay. to rush this along so we can see what's going on. So, uh, there you go. Uh-huh. We're Thank. going back this way. Yep. I'm going to go up toward this fork. <laughs> All right. We don't want to investigate the door. A door? Wait, what door? This the door. The canary spoke of it, I believe. Oh, my goodness. There's a door? There's a door. Nobody listens to me. Uh, so... Oh, if I it listen. is posited to him that he should investigate the door, um, Agrios is going to say, that door is south. The bone said north. Hmm. Very well. I will follow you. This is a one shot, so I'm going to the door. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will go. I will go with you. But as I go, He's I'm yelling out. the party, baby. That's how Agrios died. Everybody <laughs> has everybody has a buddy. Stay with your buddy. We'll Stay meet up with at the your entry. Buddy. Hmm. Perhaps I was wrong about you, Demi. Oh, I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> You're considerably less annoying than I originally thought you were. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow. And I'm going to open the door slowly. You reach out and touch the door, and it doesn't reach move. out and touch face. The door touches uh, ha, 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 ha. 
the door grows a tongue. <laughs> your own <laughs> personal mogus. Oh, that was someone to hear your prayers. Someone who's there. So is said door locked? You do not see a way to open it. It de it's like definitely a door. It's obviously a door, but you do not see a way to open it. Can I go under it? Uh, no, because you'd have to. If be I very, use mold earth tiny. or uh, mold earth. In what way? Uh, let's see. I know it's not loose, but I wonder if I could use mold earth to start. It is dirt. It work. is packed, however, but it is not stone. Just to be clear. Okay. If you well, target think... an area of loose earth, you can instantaneously excavate it and move it along the ground and deposit it up to five feet away. I'm willing to say it's loose enough to do that. Sweet. I will use mold earth to dig under the door. Okay, you dig out a five foot section. Where are you going to put the dirt? Uh, in this little dead end right here. Okay. Can I uh, see which, under the door? Which now? dead ping for me? Which dead end? I need to know where it's at. So it's not pinging, but the bird is in okay, the, gotcha. the general right location there. of okay. the dirt. <laughs> All right. Uh, you are able to open that up, and there you open a path under the door. Demi, can you see what is underneath this door? Don't don't go under it. We don't know what's in there. Just can you see anything? Uh, Demi will stick her head in the hole. Uh, it's going to go down, so you're going to have to go out, and you'd have to stick your head up, or you could just look at an angle and maybe get a, a view, which is just going to show you the roof more than anything. You're gonna uh, get... Demi's going to kind of shimmy underneath it. Not all the way, but enough. And stick your head up over up. the edge enough that you can see into yeah. the room. Okay. I'm going to grab her feet so that if something tries to attack her, I can just like yank her back. Okay. Are you doing this stealthily? Yes. Give me a stealth roll, please. Okay. It's so nice to not have a disadvantage to that for once. <laughs> uh, oh, not bad. 19. Sweet. You <laughs> squeeze under, stick your head up, and you are able to see that there is a room there and unfortunately i was trying to get the to right token but roll 20 is honestly not letting me show the token so we're just going to have to go with this one and you see a skeleton of a minotaur the flesh slowly growing back onto it it turns sees you and charges towards you pull me back pull me back, pull me back, pull me back. I, I grab her feet and, uh, i've got her feet so i yank you moved into this room stealthily. You were not prepared for this. I rolled a die. I'm going to give you a deck save against this attack, okay? okay? And I'm going to tell you, your DC on this deck save, I'm going to make it fairly simple, okay? 12 or above, you're good. Okay. Because if not, I just rolled a net 20 on the attack. Oof, that's going to sting. <laughs> Okay. So I'm being a fair DM, damn it. No, you are. You're being very fair. <laughs> that is that is a hundred percent fair. Um well I made it with a 19. All right, Ooh, good yes. enough. It good, comes good. charging and you are pulled down just as it hits the and it hits the door and actually moves the door. It does not open, but it moves the door a bit. <laughs> Minotaur, Minotaur that we killed, being reformed. Time to go. Let's uh -huh. uh, let's find the others. Get just you're too slow. I have five more movements than you do. Get on my back. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Tell no one I let you do this. <laughs> Never. <laughs> let me ask what's happening on the other side of the planet. Uh, Balia uh, and Paul, what are you doing? We're just having a peaceful jog because you know <laughs> Paul of the yeah. bones. Okay. You know what? We got information. <laughs> so you so you are heading north still, I assume. Mm-hmm. All right. You assume correctly. See, this is why your centaur herd needs their um their required satyr. Every right, so centaur that's... herd needs one satyr. <laughs> so that's a dead end. Uh, a dead end? So before oh, yeah. you know, before I go anywhere else on the mm, wait, hold on. So uh, oh, hold on. 
Oracle only lets me use uh, Augury once, huh? Mm hmm. Ah, okay. I should have, should have, should have just prepared it as my other third level spell slot. Um, all right, I'm just going to, I'm going to turn. What do you think, mother? East or west? Um, well, it is an axe that belongs to Mogus, who is your god, right? I, uh, I understand it was taken by Crew Fix, but I consider it, um, do you remember hunting with your father? Or just hunting in general? I remember hunting. Well, how would you hunt? Hmm. Like we said earlier, there must be some kind of clue or puzzle or something to track. Uh, we're nearby where we started. Perhaps we should go back there and see if there's something we can surmise about the layout. Very well. He'll start heading back toward the chamber where they started in to see if it, they can look for clues. Even though this is not usually how, how he does things. Okay. He skirt and comes screeching, <laughs> skidding to a halt. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, the Minotaur is not dead. The Minotaur certainly is dead. He was dead before he fought us. Uh, well, he's, he's not dead, dead after the fight. It is. Coming back to life, and it is currently the direction we just came from. It's in a locked room, but I'm not sure how long that door will hold it. Oh, I told you to go north. We must hasten. We're, we're heading back to the starting room. We're you wouldn't hoping... have known. Sorry? Uh, you wouldn't have known it was there. So you're welcome. Thank you. Uh. So like we know, <laughs> and well, she, she's getting like a motherly impatient tone. Like, <laughs> all right, kids. <laughs> yeah, D Demi, Demi's go. like less argument, more moving. Let's go. All right. So he he, he hurries in there. He's gonna look for uh, clues. And I've just now noticed that the is the floor in here skulls? Is the floor skulls? <laughs> uh, yes, no, actually, it is. Know. Love it. <laughs> oh, wonderful! Like the floor is skulls. Uh, okay, can I look for clues then? And actually, the torch, the sconces on the wall for all the torches, they're mm, skulls no, too. They're skulls. Okay, yeah. well, you know what? I like the decor in here. It's nice. There's ribs for a chair over here, like a whole rib cage. Yeah. Well, I doubt I could use that. <laughs> There's spare ribs. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Chilies, <laughs> baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Inspiration for everybody. All right. Yes. <laughs> Chilies, baby back we have, ribs. We have sung the song of Mogus. <laughs> He's smiling upon us. You can see Mogus sitting up there as a... <laughs> It's a He's like humming and nodding. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> the the, the high it. part is that Agostic is with him. That that video <laughs> that video is coming. I'm gonna work on that. That's awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, you're back in this room. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm gonna. Clues. Yep, I'm sending my birdie this way gonna, to see. I would like to. I would like to cast guidance on whoever's making any checks to look for clues because it shouldn't be me probably. Unless I could use survival, but I feel like that's not going to work. I feel like it's more of an investigation thing. If it's a it is an investigation thing for sure. I'm going to cast the guidance on whoever's rolling investigation, which is not me. Not it. Let's see. I've got a plus one. I've got Jimmy's a plus pretty one. and dumb. Oh no! None of I also have a plus one. None of us are really good at it. All right. I yep, mean, I have I'll a plus six guidance. in survival. I also have a plus six in survival. Sweet. I don't. But I'm very persuasive, so I can persuade the maze to show us the right direction. <laughs> Sam has already told me that it's a it's an investigation thing. So yeah. Well, I got nothing. Whoever's got guidance, or whoever, sorry, whoever's got investigation, All right. take it. Demi take says, guidance. "Someone, someone, help me look," and then I will. If someone wants to help me, I can use guidance and advantage. I think. Maybe. 
if Pam's nice. Who has been nice to me once tonight? Go for it. I, I want to get this game moving. Go for it. <laughs> All right. So I will guide myself and roll with it. Or I'm going for more espresso, so you better hurry up. I will be guided and roll with advantage. So that's a D4? Yeah, it's a D4. All right. So, um... 14. Good enough. Uh, As you're looking at the stones that make up this room, you see the four with the skulls on them, and you look at each one of them, you see that it has a mark on it. And I am going to highlight what you are able to see from that. And based on based on the the layout of it, you can insinuate that this place is somewhat of a square, maybe a bit rectangular. But there are four points of interest marked. And you okay. are able to see relative to where you are, where those points of interest are but not the path to them. Okay. I think we got close to one of them, though. If we go back the way we came where we first fought the Minotaur, I think there's something we could touch over there, but the others, I have no idea. Hmm. Well, in the, in the interest of time, if that Minotaur is reforming, perhaps we should all go and take a point? Okay. Agreed. I will toddle off to the one that I remember. Okay. And I'll go north. All right. So I will give you a path northward. There you go. So uh, what about the rest of you? Where are you toddling to? Um, we'll go south, I guess. West. Right. For me. All right. I've zoomed out, so hopefully it's showing up okay for viewers of the stream. I think I got it, the whole map on there, so. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go with the uh, the first one who toddled, which is Demi. And you come into this room, and there is a stone altar there. When you step into the room, you hear a voice. Not unlike Mogus' voice. What is the truth of strength, hatred, or love? It sounds like Mogus? Yes. Neither. Strength is born of impulse. The orange stone in the center of the altar vanishes. I don't know if I fixed it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do good? Okay. Good question. Well, so that one is the, now empty. Does the altar look like anything else, or is it just a table now? It's just a table with the hole where that had been sitting is now empty. Okay, I'll go back to the central room. You want to check if anything's in the hole? All right. He said it was empty. Oh, fair enough. He did say it was empty. <laughs> How much dirt is in a hole? One foot by one foot by one foot. I don't know. None. It's there's no hole. dirt in a hole. There's no dirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gosh. Like, it's like what weighs more, a ton of feathers or a ton of bricks? Neither. Yeah. That's Tim right. said, I know what I'll do. I'll gather the dumbest of my players and I'll throw them in a puzzle. That's right. I kill a gram of steel. <laughs> because steel is heavier than feathers. I will let you I will let you know. And and this is specifically for uh Agrios. I studied very much on the mythos of Mogus to set this oh, up. Oh boy! So all right, all right. That's all if, I got to say. if I have not studied as much as I should, will you allow me to roll religion? Absolutely. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give you. Uh, that's a dead end. That is absolutely a dead end. 
Uh, ooh, okay. Show enough is. I'm going to go down this way. All right. I'm going to assume that as long as it's a one-way path, you will continue till you come to a uh, decision-making yeah. point. That makes it a little quicker. So Pretty we'll let much. you go there. Uh, I'm going to follow up with Talia real quick. Talia came over into here. I'm going to do the same thing for you. That you. until you reach a, a point where a decision is made, it's just a path. Because, you know, why wouldn't it be? Okay. <clears throat> I will go west at the fork. Okay. And then I will come back to you in just a moment as I go for uh, something. Okay. Something. Uh, you're doing the same thing, following the path until I it comes to a point that it's uh, yes. a decision that you have to make. Uh, that sure speeds this the hell up. I wish I'd have done this sooner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and put in a maze, Tam. The players will love a maze. I mean, it's very Greek. Yeah, put a maze in, Tam. <laughs> It'll go wonderfully for a one shot. I mean, I think it's cool. <laughs> it is cool. <laughs> I do love it, but it is frustrating. I'm a fan. <laughs> okay, so you can. I'll come back to you for your decision on the direction you're going, uh, Demi. You're back in the central room. Demi came back, came back to the central room and sat down. She figured they'll come back. Okay. Agrios. Yeah, get a short rest. Uh, yeah, there. Agrios is a, a ping, a ping. Thank you. Heading up. Hold on. I got to show you the, can, where the path goes, what you'd be able to see. Okay. Uh, That's actually a good idea. Can side. I do that, Tam? Can you do what? Sit down and take a short rest. Sure. I have no problem with that. And then I'll move west. Okay, I'm going to show what you can see, and then you're going to be in here. So give me a moment as I got to figure out everything you'd be able to see in different directions. Uh -huh. So hang on just a minute. Don't, don't move yet. I'm still figuring your line right. of sight here. Unfortunately, right. I have a very slow processor. My GPU is not great, so it takes me a while to ray trace this. That's, that's fair. All right, I'm going to move go. up here. Okay. Top. All right, I see where you are, I think. I'm going to move your token just a minute because I can't see what's underneath your token. Can you move your move token down way? a little bit? Thank yeah. you very much, because there is a wall there. That's what I was trying to remember. So that will put you around here. My apologies. Obviously, to the south is a dead end, so you would go up and be able to see that. Uh, um, and then I'm going to and... stop you because it's time to go hit somebody else for a decision. Talia. South. Oh, I guess you don't Here. really have a lot of choice with South. So, uh, yep. Well, I, w I went. Yeah, there, there you go. go. I'm going to go all the way down, go west. Right. As you pass this, you will obviously be able to tell that it is a dead end. Nice. That turns off to the side, giving you some path there. I'll go west right here. All right. In that case, I will be back to you in a moment because. You're going to waste your time going down a dead end. Nice. Something. I'm going to send my bird west, and I'm going to go south. All right. Want her your bird, to check and see your if bird there is, is a going dead to end. travel a little ways, so okay. until it comes to its next decision, which is right there. You, however. Go south until you enter this room. Yeah. Ooh. Good job, something. Yes. I am going to carefully walk up to it. As you step up to it, you hear the loud, booming voice of Mogus. What is the essence of true friendship? Savagery. Or companionship. I know what I would pick. I suppose... You would... 
prefer savagery. There is a kind of whisper noise as the stone in the center of it vanishes. Why is it drawing? Okay, that should be black. I'm just not going to worry about switching the color right now because it's not worth fighting with. Oh, these are they're empty holes. That's what that signifies, just empty holes. So the stone disappears. Can I stick my hand in the hole? Uh, sure. Is there anything in it? Uh, no, your hand. Rocks fall and you die. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the no, but the saw blades on either side close, and you are now addressed as. That, that's a Tam game. That is a Tam game. I knew Ooh. it. What a low blow, my friend. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, Gotta give him a hand for that one. Uh, <laughs> and some fur. And <laughs> asthma. And, <laughs> and my main. The many sacrifices of Adrastos. I have nothing left to lose. <laughs> I do, actually. And if I lose that, then, well, Adrastos is going to be a whole different character. But I'm not going to say what it is, because then Tam might take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to move that. So Okay, I haven't gotten to roll this in a while. So Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. So we've gone through something. So we're back to Demi, who's taking a short rest. So we're back to Agrios. All right. So uh, it's still black, so I can't tell. But is this a wall? There you go. Ah, sorry. Just a moment. Roll 20. Roll 20. Da -da. Oh, I meant like right here. Is this is there a wall? Oh, it didn't. I'm sorry. I thought that was visible what it was. I, I misunderstood. Yes, that's a okay. Wall. That's a wall. There we go. All right. Thank you. Uh, oof, this, this feels more and more like it's going the opposite direction from where I want to go, but. I'm gonna follow. You're okay this till the till the Nazi with the machine gun shows up. It's... Oh wait, that's a different maze. Never mind. <laughs> Wolfenstein. <laughs> mein Lieben. Wolf Wolfenstein. Terra Agrios. <laughs> Man, I remember playing that old one as a kid. Agrios Blasphewitz. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. What a game. Did I tell you I used to I work know. with him at Softdisk? Way back oh, in Shreveport. Cool. Really? Back. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Anyway. Yeah, you can see who made right. it rich, and then, then there's me. Anyway. No. My, yeah, my, uh, my dad used to buy computer games for us, but one disc, he didn't know that it had a, it had a Wolfenstein 3D demo on it. Oh. And so I, I sneaked on and played it, and I was like, oh, I'm not supposed to play games like this. <laughs> my dad used to play that with me on his knee. And when my mom figured out he was doing that, she oh. was pissed. Oh, my parents were both <laughs> super strict Christians, so I didn't get to play anything fun like that. Just tell them um, just tell them it's okay. You did not see a thing. Ha! <laughs> Good one. But I did play some fun games, though. Uh, let's see. Let me go this way. I'm gonna go west. That, that probably got this just demonetized because I said that, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm it's sorry. Okay. You, you already going? said the word earlier. Oh, I know, but now I've said it twice, so I'm really uh, yeah, true. It's oh, it's a dead end. No. Nice. All right, so uh, Thalia. Hello. Which way are you going? I will go south Thalia. and then west. Oops, sorry, let me complete that section of the map. Which east. way do you want to go? Continuing east? West. Or west, west not... What? How did I hear west. east at a west? It's west, I don't know. So I the path... saying west. East, I thought you said west. <laughs> oh, it's very the path, right the path twists... Quit making fun of your DM. The path twists around... <laughs> nah, keep making fun of your DM. He's, he's fine. Yeehaw. Right? Right. We gotta have something. I do like that everyone made it to their room before Except Agrius did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Throw your bones oh, in those north. bones. <laughs> yeah, I just love that everybody else is getting to answer the questions that he would probably know the answer to, you know. It's fine. This is just my life. This is normal. All righty. The booming voice comes out and says, How long does loyalty last? Who 
Is it asking? Can I roll a Thalia. religion check? Uh, are you a follower of Mogus? I've spoken with him. Are you a follower of Mogus? <laughs> I am not, but I have. Then give me with give him. me a check with disadvantage. All righty. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, you got this, Thalia. Use he your mom's strength. He didn't tell me over wine. You don't. You don't have this. <laughs> you know Use what? Use your mom's Hold strength. On. I don't believe in you. Okay, do a straight wow. roll. Do a straight roll because you spent time with Mogus. We haven't gone into the nature of that relationship, so we're just going to leave it at that. And uh... <laughs> I got a nine. Ah, you but... win again, Agrios. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, uh... I was I wasn't serious. I was just being funny. <laughs> what is your answer, Thalia? What is sorry? Could you repeat the question? I love now you remember exactly lasts. how I phrased could you, it. Could you put it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> I, but I thought it was how long does loyalty last? How yes, long how does loyalty last? How long does loyalty last? last? Yes. I had to look up my notes. They were over there, buried. <clears throat> and she will say, Um, how long does loyalty last? Everyone else got multiple choice. Uh, um, <laughs> loyalty lasts until the last breath. There is a slight noise as the stone disappears. <sighs> All right. And then she'll start making her way back to the center. All right. In that case, something. Weep. They're all. All righty. So, my bird, where is she? Um, In the little dead end right here. Okay. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I needed a decision about uh, direction, I believe. But wait a minute. No, you would have gone around. The Hold on. Just, ah! Roll 20, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you had gone around there. There was no decision to make, I don't think. Come on, roll 20. Gee whiz. Uh, it, it has to be. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Mo beta. Okay, so. Mo beta. Mo beta. I'm going to say it comes around here because I'm trying to speed this along a little bit. It will fly around and make its way back to a path that you have already uncovered. So that will put it back up in here somewhere. Okay. Ta-da! I will go mm. Uh, mm. Uh, so you have an exit that goes to the west, or you can backtrack, uh, or, you know, there's other path that goes to the north. So, so th this is meta knowledge, but did anybody else notice the Minotaur is not in that room anymore? Oh, God. No, that's <laughs> concerning. I'm going to oh, my bird. Know. I'm going to my bird. All right. And then we'll follow the path. To where? Oh, God, I just disappeared. To which uh, which way are you following the path? I gotta have an idea where you're going, so I don't uh, need to unmark anything. This this way where I put my person. Damn it! Why is it not pinging? Well, you you've got a lot of path you can see. Where is your destination out of? I mean, you could be headed the altar, the yellow the see Yellowstone it? altar yes. that it no longer has a stone. Okay, you can make it there without any problem. <laughs> and there is uh, no stone in it anymore. So someone has already been here. I will... Hmm. While Not you're thinking... Decisions. Oh, Agrius yep. left. Never mind, I'll keep going with you. Oh, <laughs> um, I will go forward and I will instruct her to go back to the altar room where I was and peek through 
this opening down here. Okay, so you're going, you said forward. What is, is that north? This doorway, in, yeah, north. Okay, so again, you would follow this until you came to a path where a decision must be made. So I'm mm -hmm. going to show you what you can see from where you must make your decision. So give me just a moment to get everything out here that you would be able to tell. Okay, and then your birdie is going to do the same thing. La da 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 I think this is a second or third of your one shots where I get animal companions. I it, I have it a theme. wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> okay. I think I'm losing players. Where are they we going? Must, we must finish. We're we're actually up against time, but I want to finish. So okay. come on, people. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go west. Okay, and I'm gonna stop you because Agrios is back, and Agrios can tell me what he wants to do at this point. Agrios, what would you like to do? I have a feeling that I'm the only one who chose a path. That doesn't fucking go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be. I, um... Yeah, I mean, I... You I are just, in no man's land. I'm gonna head back. Can I just run back? Back to where, exactly? Back to reality. Back to the chamber oh, where I gravity. started oh, almost, or, or at least to that... So can I run back to this, like... Yeah, to the chamber before we started, because it seems like this just doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Absolutely. Or at least to right here. Is this a path going this way? Uh, yes, it is. I'll go that way. All right. Let me see if roll 20 agrees. Uh, let me see if roll 20 agrees. <laughs> So you would you would move until you had a decision of which direction to go. So there you are back to decision phase. Stop. Okay. That was to I'll my go. phone, not you. I'll go west. <laughs> you will go west. All right. We'll go west. I'll and go Dennis. That is going go to west, uh, my son. what you can see as you're going that way is this opens up into some kind of a room and the path continues on. Oh. If that goes up into some kind of room, I would go north instead. I'm sorry. And that, no, that's fine. I, I'm showing it to you so you can, you know, trying to rush us through so we can make a decision. It's not a problem yeah, yeah. at all. I'll go you north. You are instead. doing everything perfectly. Oh. You enter a room that has a, an altar on it. At the top of that is a minotaur's head, and there is a green stone in one of these slots on the floor. A green stone. All right. Yep. One of us got it right. Good job, something. Oh, yeah, because mine was green. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, so having discovered that, uh, yeah, um, I'll head back down. Assuming there's nothing else to see in this room except that. There are a few bodies, blood stains, you know, all that kind of cool stuff. Oh, that's normal. Yeah. Remind me, how did how did we first find out about these like about these stones or markers, or objectives, places to go? Uh, in that main room, you found the uh, markings on the map that on the stone oh, on, pillars that kind of like a map. So. Got you. All right, <clears throat> understood. All right, yeah, I'll head back down. All right, and just continue moving along here. Uh, okay. is, uh, is it fine you, if I just catch up with uh, Honosha up here? Yeah, I mean, that path is known at this point. Now, granted, you wouldn't both know, but whatever, you know, fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just, did, I'll run into Honosha. How did North treat you? Well, I found something important, actually. Oh. I believe Do our tell. ultimate objective. I found an altar to Mogus, upon which mm. were four spaces... One of which was lit up green with a green stone in it, rather. A, the other was the others were empty. A green stone, you say? Yes. I found an altar that had a, a stone on it, and I was asked a question. After I answered, the stone disappeared. I do believe it was a green stone. 
Well done, then. I believe you answered correctly. What sort of question? Wisely. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say correctly. Um, what? What was the hell's question worded? Uh, it was. It was. It was a what is the truth of friendship? Friendship. Like yeah. That. Savagery yeah. or companionship. Savagery or or companionship. Savagery or companionship. Oh, savagery. <laughs> I would have chosen companionship. What? But. Seeing as how Mogus is evil and everything about this place is evil. That's just mean spirited. Rocks I fall, assume... everybody dies. You can't call Mogus evil in his house. I just did. <laughs> so I chose correctly, evidently. Well, then, let's move on. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go to the, the end of this passageway and then go north. Nurse. Nurse. I'd like Nurse. to go Dennis. I'll go Dennis. Why at all? Why? No, oh God, no. <laughs> snarf, snarf, snarf. There you what? go. What am I? I made a reference that I don't think anyone else got, and then you started making references that I didn't get. <laughs> Thundercats, ho! Oh, okay. Yep, I got you. Well, not oh, only it's a, you, it's a dead end. You down have here. found two dead ends, so congratulations. Well, I welcome. want to go. East. Actual east, not least. You would go until you uh, come to a point of having to make oh a God, decision, which would put you in this room. Clippity cloppity. Oh, please, 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 please let me. Please let me help. <sighs> as mean as he has been to me, I wonder if I should just answer the question myself. Where is that idiot? I found dead ends for you. You're welcome. Don't go this way. I will tell you what I found if you l admit that uh, only going north was stupid. I, I told you I found the thing. Only going north was helpful. Get your hairy hand in, in here and just deal oh, with this. Oh, you are one to talk. Your hind's as hairy as mine is. Mine's green, ah. thank you. <laughs> he <sighs> he runs up there. Ah, what do we have here? I've already answered mine correctly, so don't screw it up. <laughs> Not likely. He approaches. I almost hope he screws it up. <laughs> he approaches it. <laughs> oh. The voice of Mogus rings out. Victory is to be obtained at any cost is the key. Ruthlessness, devotion, or fury. Hmm. All right, Tam, I have, a, I have an idea about this myself, but I'd like to roll a religion check. Okay. Uh, you get to roll it with advantage as a follower of Mogus. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Even though you haven't had relations with him of any kind over wine. Hey. Conversation. That's all I meant. That's, that's I just, you know, I've, what you put I've in your done, mind, you know, just, just learning. Just no, because no, call ends up with a little Minotaur brother, it half Minotaur, half horse. It, yeah. That would be messed Eight. up. Oh, everybody <laughs> anyway. else got pets. I want a pet. Eighteen. Yeah. Beans. Uh ruthlessness, of course. That is what I was going to answer anyway. I figured. Um, rootlessness. There is a slight noise as the stone vanishes. Shall we go to your altar room and see if what you did was correct? Yes. I can show you there. Follow me. That one's up to you. We could just just drag yourself over to the altar. Uh -huh. room, yeah. <laughs> just be like, no, I want to go. No, I want to go one space okay, at a time. Okay, okay let's let's, no, let's do fine. it right then. <laughs> no, it's all right. 
So there is now an orange stone. Well, if this is truly what we're supposed to be doing, then we need to find two more stones. Quite. Where have we not looked? I don't know. What are the other two? Of our group, I mean. I have not seen them in quite some time. I've also not heard back from my canary, so I hope she's all right. You haven't it, heard back from your canary. Where did you send it? Uh, we split up after the altar. I continued to go... I found a, a, an, an altar with a stone missing from it. You did that as an animal companion, correct? You found an altar. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a wild companion, so as an action, you can expend a use of your wild-shaped feature to cast Find Familiar without material components. Okay, it's Find cast... Familiar. That's what I wanted yeah. to make sure of, is which way you did that. Okay. It's a fey instead of beast, and it's it says it lasts two hours if it's here. It's a wild mm -hmm. companion. I don't know. <clears throat> but there was did you come which way did you come from there was another altar that already had uh, a stone missing from it Perhaps... I, didn't find, I did not find any altars this one is the first one I've seen well the previous one the one we saw was the first one I'd seen so if this stone is mine and that stone is yours where did the other one go? Right. Why is it not here? What would cause it to disappear? Hmm. Troubling. Could someone have stolen it? We should regroup. Back to the chamber, then. Yes. I really appreciate that something's thirst thought was, someone must have stolen it and not, wow, our comrades are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> we'll run back to the chamber okay you make it to the chamber and demi has had a long rest because you guys have been running all over the place while she's been resting Eight oh, a long rest wow long i rest? mean short rest uh, did i say long I'm sorry, short rest uh, at this point folly will have been here while demi would have offered her a oh. drink of the wine skin it's past my oh, bedtime sure come on yeah how long is it how long is a short rest yeah. and an hour at least an hour, an hour. okay the the wine is delicious like nice. the best you've ever had <laughs> well i thank you hello oh did everyone activate their altars you found one as well uh -huh. so did i yes and you've two of them are activated and two All. of them are gone hmm. but well i was asked a question i didn't quite know the answer to. What I answered your... it to the best of my ability. Uh, it was a question about loyalty. Uh, and what did you answer? Uh, well, the question was, um, how long does loyalty last? And um, I just answered what I believed was true, which is, uh, it lasts until your last breath. There... Uh... So they disappear with a correct, with an incorrect answer. Demi, what was your question? What did you answer? <laughs> that was like a smackdown. Oh, so if you answer wrong, they're gone. <laughs> who, who was to say that was the wrong answer? Uh, uh, your stone Tam, fell I, on the altar. Tim, I rolled a dirty twenty on religion to know what that, what the answer to that one was. <laughs> uh, it is temporary. If she had said to the last breath of whomever the loyalty is bound, that would have been mm -hmm. okay. Anything that states that it is temporary to you complete whatever task calls for the loyalty. So. It was something about Sorry. where strength Almost. comes from. What were the choices? I don't Hatred? Remember. Hatred and love? love? Hatred and love. love. Obviously, I didn't say love, but I figured that Mogus would still like my answer, but he didn't. What did you answer? Hatred, right? Impulse. So you answered incorrectly as well. So these stones are lost to us. 
What well, does that mean we can't get the the axe? There must be some way to recover them, right? I imagine so. They're gone. So unless we continue to explore and try to find more altars. Uh, what if I we look went around back? And see if, can I look around and see if the markings are in the same place? Uh, there is no change. I will just give you okay. that free. So. Well, I'm going to go we... back to where mine was since it's close. Can I follow? Of course. All right. or, oh, are you asking Demi or me? <laughs> uh, I'm not. I was. If I was asking Demi, I would have asked in character. I'll follow uh, Agrios. Well, absolutely yeah, okay, follow, so. please. We all just crowd crowd into this little room. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know the room's actually bigger than that. I I apologize. I did not do reveal areas <laughs> on this one. I thought mm -hmm. I did, and you guys are all in. Ah, roll twenty hates me. Oh, we're gone. We're swallowed by the darkness. <gasps> Logos has eaten us. That's that's what happens when you answer wrong. You know. <laughs> There you go. Ah! Okay. So is is there any change or is the stone still gone? The stone is gone. I'm going to touch where it was. See if it's actually gone or if it's like invisible. Uh, there's no stone there. I, so I have an idea. When you entered the room, it asked you a question. And yet you were the first one to enter again. Perhaps if we exit the room and a new person enters, the stone well, would reappear? You said you found an empty room, which would lead me to believe that you found the room that Thalia went to. The stone didn't reappear when you walked in. It did not. That's true. I think perhaps we just need to go to the place where these stones are meant to be, and maybe we just get less opportunity or chance because we I, didn't answer all of the questions correctly. i will note that there are dead bodies in this room as you can see and there are blood stains on the floor what? Hmm. uh she's going to make a sacrifice uh, yeah she's gonna like cut her hand on her horn and put it on the altar and see if it wants blood nothing happened yeah well worth a try so your what were <clears throat> This this one was yours, correct? Uh-huh. Demi? And your choices were love or hatred. Hatred. What 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 do you hate? What do I hate? I hate violence. Uh Agrios, you must forgive me for this. And I'm going to just punch you in the face. That, that must have hurt. Ah. <laughs> oh. Any, anything? No. I like this new side of you. I I think what Thalia said is true. Maybe if we well, there's bodies in here, so I guess someone has to die. I'm not well, going. You're there. the only one of us who's not dead. That's true. And I'd prefer not to die, but put her on the anything to get us out of here, I guess. Oh, that's very noble of you. Go on, somebody kill her. Agrios is going to grab her by the <laughs> horns, heft her onto the altar, take his battle axe, and try and take her head off. Or no, not take her head off, but just like, do I have a Just dagger? do like a stabby stab, yeah. I'm going to do a ritual do thing I, with a dagger. Do uh, I have so any of my mushrooms left? At, at this point, if you grab... um. Demi's horns, the eyes will roll back, the horns will come down. Now, she might be willing to do this, but I'm not willing to lose her just yet. Let me go! <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't, don't want do to it. lose her, then why don't you give us some hints? Well, I'd be more than happy to. Oh, hey, you are... speak through me. I'm channeling a god. <laughs> you, are, you, are si you are sitting next to Mogus. Or at least uh, the god was. Oi, brother! You've sent the biggest idiots in all the realms in here to figure this out. Could you give him a wee hint? <laughs> Excuse me, I cut mine right, thank you. As did I, it's very rude. <laughs> I just love the I fact that they get, I, I love the fact that you're still talking through her at the same time, so they're getting half of this yeah. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot help them. You know that would ruin the maze. 
It's part of the contest to begin with. Well, they think they have to kill my avatar. Do they? What did they do? Well, they got the question wrong. Well, she got the question wrong. <laughs> he just... <laughs> ah. Let me guess. She thought you'd like the answer. There's only one answer to each question. The correct, the truth. Well, you're no fun. <laughs> it's not about fun. It is victory at all costs. Strength only comes through hatred. And that is why you're down here, and I'm still traipsing about above Helms. If they've messed up, the only way to regain it is by taking the life of the one who failed. Oh, oh right, shit. Sorry, lass. Looks like you're dead. What? I... <sighs> okay, do it. Do I at least get to hang out with you? Hi, lass. You've, you've been good. Okay. And so she, she summons <laughs> her packed weapon and she hands it to Agrios and says, make it quick. I will. And he does. <laughs> not even a second thought. Punk. <laughs> now, I'm not going to be mean and go, you know, is Agrios skilled enough to make this quick or not? Because we could really make this bad and I'm going to say you succeed. Yeah, I can roll the attack roll if you want, but I... No, I, I, if, if, the, yeah. if there's not going to be any fighting back, I'm going to say that it's... Uh, you are successful. No. Demi is confident in the knowledge that she's not going to go to this awful place. She's going to get to hang out with Zedagos, So The stone reappears in the center of the altar. But it is loose now. Where it was, you know, embedded in it before, it is loose. There's no... Is it asking us a question? No? Do we just take it to the altar ourselves? He reaches out to try and take it. You're able to take it. Ha. Huh. It seems so. I wonder, how did that work? Do we have another sacrifice to make? I think so. No, no, Morgus, I really like that one. You owe me. <laughs> so we should go to the other one and... She'll yes. glance at all three, all three of us are dead. How are we way. supposed to sacrifice anyone? We'll see when we get there. And Talia will walk them over to the one that she went to. All right. So you are all over. Well, three of you are over at the yellow one. <laughs> all right, I'm going to fall. I'm. Oh, I really thought I got this question right, but it must have been wrong. Is the stone there? No, there's no stone. Ah, well, Alia stands before her son. We'll find some way to uh, bring it back. Uh, like I said, all three of us are dead. So there's no way that would work. Let's see. He's, he's just, he just starts trying all kinds of things. He takes blood from around the room. He picks up one of the corpses and puts it on there, on the altar. Nothing. Ah, why isn't this working? You must sacrifice the one who got it wrong. I but, got the question wrong. Oh, dear. Uh, I know we're dead in theory, but um I can't. You must. What will happen to you? You're a soul. I don't know. You begin to hear the sounds of very loud hooves 
somewhere in the hallways to the south. I agree, else we need a decision. Good. There has to be some other way to do this. No, Agrius. I c can't do it again. I detest violence, but if you... I can if you don't want to. That's you think me too weak? Talia is going to, uh, same as before, place her, place her hands on them. Um, his head and, and please forgive yourself as I have forgiven you. You are only a boy and you have turned out to be a wonderful man. Are you? And she will um, impale herself on Agrius's weapon. Oh dear. I love you. A stone appears in the center of the altar. Agrius. I'm sorry. Get the stone. We need to go. The hoof, the sound of hooves gets louder. He takes it. Come on. We need to go. Is the body of his mother still there? Oh, yes. He tries to pick it up and carry her on the back, on his back. Okay. That will slow you down? Yep. To half speed? But okay. Yep. He continues at half speed, 20 feet at a time. All right. Let me see if... I'll let me uh, roll to see if uh, the other thing catches up with you. So. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that one says no. <laughs> so I'll you are able to make your. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say I'm gonna walk behind him so that if if it does run up behind us, I can okay. do something. All right. Uh, you you know the path to the altar room at this point, so you can make your way back. Where did I go? Where did... I I lost my token. Uh, I'll get there it. I am. Just a minute. That's right. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Wee. All right, and you now have the other two stones, the pink. He he I places mean, sorry, the, the remaining yellow. He yeah. places he places the remaining stones in their okay. slots. All right, they plop in. There is a noise for a moment, and the eyes of the giant minotaur head in front of you light up. And the other, the skeleton minotaur of Kodos, enters through the door behind you. You deal with that. I'll deal with this. I'm going to flip around. And while it's still in the doorway, before it can even go, I'm going to cast Tidal Wave. Bloop. All right. 40 damage. Let's see. Yeah, 48. That's pretty good. Cool. What's my water, what's my save down. on it? Is it Dex? Yep, Dex. Dex save. And it's knocked prone. That is a fail. Oh, he takes forty-eight damage and is knocked prone. All right, roll that damage. Sixteen damage. Oh come on! I'm just broken. crashing water. Twenty's being difficult again. All right. And I would like to think it pushes him out the door. It will push him out the door. And up here. against the wall there. Schmack. Awesome. Since we're not technically in combat, can I cast... Well, oh, but you are, because I was about to say those magic words. Damn it! Roll initiative. So a little bit of narrative, yes. Go ahead and roll initiative while I describe that since you've moved closer into the room, Agrios, you can see the light that is coming from the eyes of the Minotaur are because of Wrathbringer, which sits inside of the skull. And uh, when, when 
that tidal wave hit and knocked that minotaur out of the room. A portion of the skull cracked. Agrius is going to take his shield and to try to bash the crack in the skull with it. All right. It, go ahead and you can roll the attack. All right. Also, the uh, there's no initiative tracker on roll 20, but my actual initiative was 4, not 13. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my fault. I didn't put it back up because I'm an idiot. So I'm going to get it back up there. So go ahead, you can. Uh, it's closer what, to what it actually is. What did you roll? It was a four. A four. Okay, excellent. I hate to say what I rolled, but I did. Elitar. <laughs> and uh, something, what is your initiative? It was a 16. 16. Okay, thank you. Sorry about the problems there, folks. No worries. Your shield would technically be an improvised weapon, I guess. So that yeah. would actually be a 14 to hit. That is going to miss. And miss anyway. meaning you may hit it, but meaning it's it a blade. Yes. Yeah. So. You do still have Demi's axe, by the way. That doesn't go away when she dies. Hmm. Okay. Cool. The bond is just broken. The Skeletor is going to stand up, charge in specifically at Agrios. Or a gore, and that is going to be a horrible miss. It is going to, however, break off a rib bone and use it like a dagger and take a second attack at you. Actually, like a short sword would be better, but you get the idea. And that is going to be a 14, which I think is also a miss. So. It is. Yeah. It is indeed. Protoss just no fight Agrius well. All right. And with that, I believe it is up to something. I Somebody's up to something. Is that telling me to hit the road? Is that what I'm getting? Yes. Hit the pavement? <laughs> so if I can no, shoot... I was just trying to find something that was a, a labyrinth. <laughs> so on Scorching Ray, each, each ray does 2d6. Okay. Okay, I'm just I'm I'm trying not to be dumb here. Okay, I'm gonna use scorching ray, but okay. I need to make three attack rolls. I think I hit the dumb centaur. That's what I need. Skelly tar, sorry. Scorching ray one, then eight. That's a twenty-four to hit. hit. AC's fifteen. Let's just make it easy. Okay, so you want all damage at once, or yeah, hit damage, hit great. damage. Yeah. Okay. All damage at once would be easier. That's an eight. Eight's a miss. And that's a 20. A dirty 20. That's a hit. So we're going to get one. 11 damage. Okay. Two. Six damage. All right. Cool. The, the Minotaur head on the dais begins to crack again as more damage is inflicted upon the creature. Agrius, you're up. Agrius has been quiet ever since retrieving the second stone. He's been uncharacteristically quiet. But uh, with another ghost of his past, uh, Protos coming to attack him, he reaches up and one hand on the inside of his shield and his other hand just bare. He places both hands on Protos and looks at him. The first time I killed you, I actually felt guilty. But this time, I don't feel anything at all. Uh, he is going to cast a third level. Inflict wounds. All right. Wow. That's a lot of dice. <laughs> it is. Let me roll my to hit first. Yep. 
So melee spell attack, that is an 18 plus 6 is 24. That's a hit. (laughs) No, no, no doubt. Thank God. Because it would have been very lame if I had missed. Moga (laughs) says, you're welcome. Thanks, Mogus. Also, out of character, fuck you, Mogus. (laughs) You made me kill my my mom twice. (laughs) Terrible. (laughs) You're such a bastard. And (laughs) realize, there was no planning in that. There's no way I would have known who was going to fail that one, so... (laughs) D&D hates you. That's all I can say. (laughs) D&D, yeah, hates me. Hates my mom. It's it's Wizards of the Coast's fault. They told me to do that. It was in the new OGL. Oh, yeah, okay. (laughs) All right, let's see what we got. I love it. He's got to bring out the glasses to see the dice. (laughs) So we got... (laughs) It's a lot to add up. (laughs) Listen, listen. Look, I I, I, I just wear these to make me a little bit smarter, that's all. All right, so two of those already, right off the bat, two of those rolled tens. You need bigger glasses, chill. So it's already 20 plus 9 is 29. (laughs) Um, 6 is... 35 plus 5 is 40, and even 40 necronic damage. Describe to me what happens to Protos as you end his unlife. As I said, he just reaches out and grabs him by the sides of his skull and sort of gazes into the voids of his eyes. And as he tells him that he just feels nothing, uh, there is just sort of this dark energy that seems to emanate from the core of Agrios and channels into his arms and then as it flows into the skull the skull yellows and browns and then just starts crumbling and then that energy starts to travel down through the entire skeleton just crumbling it bone by bone until there's nothing left. And eventually, Agrios looks almost limp, standing there, looking down at the dust, somewhat despondently. The minotaur head behind you disintegrates and collapses in the same manner, leaving a pile of ash on the dais. In its place, is a great axe. Go and get your axe. Putting his shield on his back, he walks slowly over to the axe, lifts it from where it lies. (sighs) If I... If I could only leave with this, As you hold it in your hands, you hear in your head, Yes! Let us go destroy! Kill everything! I could wield this in the mortal realm. I would cut such swaths of blood as as to flow into rivers, to drown villages. Is that what you want? I can't have what I want. What did you want? That doesn't matter anymore. That weak boy is officially dead. I mean, we are dead in the underworld, so there's that. Yes. Yes. (sighs) Now Agrios is all that remains. The last specter of my past vanished
Shall we take your axe to your god then? That's all there is left to do. Well, I mean, you could steal it, but... <laughs> and do what? Wreak some havoc, cause some chaos. You know, the guy that brought us here on the on the uh, raft sure was a bastard. You think I could kill a god? You have a god's weapon. I like the way you think. <laughs> I've got enough spells to back you up. At least keep you hanging on by a thread. You are a real surprise, you know that. There's nothing else to do here, and clearly my god is not coming for me. Well then, let's start some shit. <laughs> I am walking over and high-fiving. Like, let's start some shit. So I need you to state what you're going to do, Agrios. <clears throat> Agrios? Let's see. Are there doors here? There are two doors. One to the left and one to the right. Neither of them have opened at this moment. Hmm. Uh, are they marked in any clear way? Roll me a um, perception check. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I'm not good at that. Can I give him my inspiration to use? Can I use my last second level spell slot to cast enhance ability on myself? No, I'd... save it. Save it. Take my inspiration. All right. <laughs> oh, that's right. I also have inspiration. Oh, yeah. Use I your forgot. own damn inspiration. <laughs> I'll spend it. Use mine and save yours. Oh, we were friends. Uh, there we go. And with that, that is a 19. All right. Uh, one of the doors is marked loyalty. The other is marked glory. He takes Wrathbringer, walks over to the door marked glory, and smashes it open <laughs> the door is destroyed and there is a hallway ahead of you let's see where this goes <laughs> um, are you path. still dragging your mother's corpse on your back <laughs> uh, that... mm. perhaps we should leave uh. that Perhaps I mean, we leave her seems... and avenge it and avenge her. A hindrance in battle, and it will do no good for her. Yes. One way or another, I always have to leave her behind. Goodbye, think... mother. I'm I... sorry. I think she understands. Now, why don't we go kill the bastard that made you kill her? I'll kill any bastard who gets in my way. Uh, with the exception of me. <laughs> I'm the instigator. <laughs> so, basically, so I understand that your intention with, correctly. That goes without saying. You're <laughs> you, are now, stealing, think... you are stealing Wrathbringer, is that correct? Yes. Hell yes. Okay. Just making Starting sure now, I got your I think you're the only friend I have left. <laughs> you want to show him what what loyalty actually means? He takes out the bag of bones and tosses it to the side, saying, I don't think he's going to answer my calls anymore. <laughs> I'm going to kick some dust on it with my hoof. Somewhere, Demi raises a chalice to the two of you. <laughs> uh, and if he can, then. If he can take some fabric from his mother or something like that, okay. he is going to w scrub off the uh, 
icon of Mogus from his shield. Oh, oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you, you take Wrathbringer and you just scrape the paint off with the edge That'll of the blade. Work. That'll work. And then yes. you, use, like that. you use your mom's uh, cloth to shine it up to a shine, maybe? Actually, it's a two handed <laughs> axe, isn't it? I'll hold the shield, scrape yep. away. You take the shield. <laughs> This, All right. It's never looked better. As you make your way down the hallway of glory, you come out on the side of a mountaintop. As you reach the very end of it, though, you hear the voice of Mogus cry out in anger. <laughs> I will find you, Agrios, and I will kill you. Slowly and painfully. He's got to catch us first. <laughs> <laughs> but Agrios has apparently escaped the underworld with Wrathbringer, which was not at all what I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fitting end. So, um... I, I checked in with Tam. I, I, I'm good with this. So as uh, Agrios and something exit the underworld, um, a satyr man in a long flowing green tunic walks up to you clapping and says, well, 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 Agrios, you've been a lot more fun than I thought you would. Looks like and you're in need of a god. Would you care for like... a blessing of a little bit more fun? Huh. Fine. Seems like you've already stuck quite a bug up Mogus' ass. <laughs> that I have. <laughs> After all, you do owe me one. You did kill my favorite chaplain. She also mm. got the question wrong. She did her best. Fine. I'll trade one god for another. But I'm not taking any more orders, not for a while at least. Oh, Agrios, you and I are going to get along very well. Orders are the last thing I want to be given, you lad. Then let's go cause some chaos. Thought <laughs> you'd never ask. You got one room for one more follower. Oh, I come along. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going with Agrios regardless. He's my newfound friend. <laughs>